Champions of the Realms Arena, episode five. Was a banger. We had a very diverse lineup of players, and there was one match specifically. Gnarly Gato Alex, incredible Jax player, going up against Patient Impulse. It was almost like the match was never going to end. Now, I want to say thank you so much to everybody dropping support on this channel. We're getting very close to 70,000 subscribers. We're on a long road to 100K. Feels like it's taking forever. But we won't be able to get there unless you subscribe to the channel, you engage with the videos by slapping a thumbs up, and even share it. Share it with your friends, whoever the hell. Let's help this channel go to 100,000 subscribers. But without further ado, Let's get into Champions of the Realms, episode five. Ew! Don't impress me. Wait, mira, testing one, two. <laughs> testing one, two, mama huevo, maldita mierda. It's fucking top siete games in the fucking building, maldita puta. Toto teta, top siete. Testing one, two, you fucking hear me? <laughs> mama huevazo. Oye, nene. <laughs> Oye, Caboose, you there? Mama Huevo? I'm here. I'm Mama here, Huevo, bro. you there? I'm here, bro. I'm here. <laughs> Yo, Shit. Champions of the Realms. <laughs> <laughs> what episode is this? Uh, fuck, I forgot. I'm trying not to piss myself right now. Oh, episode <laughs> five. Toto Teta. Toto Teta. Champions yeah. of the Realms, episode five, going down right now. We got. <laughs> Wait, who do we got? Who do we got? <laughs> we, got we got a killer lineup today. <laughs> Shut up, the stream, bro. All right, we, we had to redo that. <laughs> we had to redo that. It got a little too crazy. But redo the whole fucking intro. Re Yo, Spanky Dude, run it back. Run it back. We got a killer lineup today. We have uh, Baylina coming through, bringing in the... I, I, I know she plays... She specializes with Sonya, and she's got a whole bunch of other characters up her sleeve. An absolute yep. demon in this fucking game. She's yes, going to be... Sir. Yes, she's going to be going up against Victor Freeze, uh, a really good Raiden player. Bro, I'm literally crying from that. A really good Raiden <laughs> player. And then uh, after that, we're going to have... I forgot, man. Who, who else? Do we have? <laughs> <laughs> this guy's ready for the action. Yo, okay, let me just say, while, while you're looking up the other players, uh, we haven't been commentating and on the mics together in a minute, man. It's been a hot minute. Yeah, I, I missed and you, I'm man. I miss so, commentating with you. I'm so fucking hyped to be here. I'm so fucking hyped to be commentating MK11, to be doing some Champions of the Realms. I want to say thank you to everybody who's already been showing the support in the chat. You guys are the best. Me and Destroyer always have so much fun commentating together. And like to be back and doing this again, I'm so hyped. I'm at like a remote setup right now. I'm not at my at home setup, unfortunately. But like making the most of my situation, I'm still extremely hyped to yeah. be commentating with you, bro. Yeah, but dude, the same thing, bro. I definitely missed uh, jumping on the comms with you. It's an honor to, to be able to do this again. But back to it, we have Baylina versus Victor Freeze. And after that, we have yep. Patient Impulse. Oh, no, no, sorry, sorry, sorry. After the Baylina match, we have Jet Ring versus Little Dick. And then after oh. that, we have Patient Impulse versus Gnarly Gato Alex, which will be the, uh, the premiere set uh, first at 10. You know, we got a, a very diverse lineup today, a lot of awesome players, and uh, I hate to say it, but for the first time, we have some female representation coming through to bring the fucking hype. And I, I right. you know, and this is, I definitely want to get more, more well, chicks Baleen up has in competed, here. Baleen has competed in Champions of the Realms before, obviously like for yeah. top 16 is different, but I'm hyped too, because yeah, I've seen Baylina play before. I've, I've jumped into her streams before. She is like, like people should not underestimate her for sure. 
Yeah, man. So, you know, today's a, a very awesome event. We're going to try to get this going as fast as possible because after this, I have to jump on commentary with Mr. Aquaman, who's <laughs> running the Coliseum, I think. I think I don't know if it's MKX or M I think it's MKX. Because if he's going to invite me, it's going to be for MKX. He's running the MKX Coliseum finale. It's going to be nice. fucking badass as hell. And oh, yeah. Uh, yeah, let's just go ahead and, and get these invites out and get this rolling. Again, Caboose, uh, how have you been? I saw you just recently hit 600,000 subscribers on YouTube. Yes, Absolute sir. insanity. Yeah, yeah. I mean, uh, I'm, I'm hyped to see it. I, I can't believe that it's actually happened. Like, it's pretty crazy to hit a milestone like that for sure. But I will say, you know, even though, like, there aren't necessarily Champs of the Rum stuff going up on the YouTube, like, doing this, being a part of this, and the community that we built and the amount of people that tune in that that watch for us and and that like you know the duo that is destroyer and caboose you know that is that has contributed to where i've gotten to on youtube so like yeah hitting that milestone is amazing but i don't want to undermine the fact that like doing this has been a part of that journey you know oh you're too kind you're you're too fucking right, kind fuck you, you know right, what so fuck you. top champ it come in <laughs> <laughs> okay hold on i'm just uh sending out these invites real quick while I do that, I mean, just just tell tell these people what what you got going for yourself, man. Tell them about the toto tetas you have growing out of your chin and all yeah. that stuff. Yeah, there's uh, several of them growing. You know, you can't really see them right now, but like you know, in a couple weeks they're gonna really come through. Uh, <laughs> but yeah, I'm chilling, man. I'm chilling, just doing the YouTube. Just uh, just been doing what I can. Again, the, I, I had to like move setups. So like I got a whole remote setup right now going, bit of some un unfortunate, unforeseen circumstances, but we making the most of it. And now I'm gonna be jumping on the comms with my boy Destroyer, which should be a lot of fun. Running some MK11 Destroyer. I think you gotta go AFK by the way. Oh yeah, I don't know if you did. No, you're totally right. About Unless, that. No, actually, you want to play them? You want to play them? All I, right, you know what? Listen, first match I, is Destroyer dude, and Baylina. I, I know Baylina's a fucking demon. I know Victor Freeze is a fucking demon. I yeah. ain't trying to get a piece of none of that. They they got it, shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But yeah, just been chilling. Just been covering content on YouTube. You know, some games are on the way this year, which should be pretty sick. Um, and that's it. That's it. And I'm going on vacation next week. That's hey! the only the other thing I got going on. Let's fucking go. Yeah. All right, I'm AFK. Invites have been sent. And this is it. It's going down. Baylina mm -hmm. versus Victor Freeze. The first match for tonight. I'm a little excited about this one because, you know, Victor Freeze is one of those players that we don't get to see quite often. And it's Raiden. Yeah. You know, Raiden is, is just right. such a badass character. I know Mortal Kombat 11 didn't do him the most justice, unfortunately. Unfortunately. But, you know, you do have your players here and there that are just straight demon mode with this fucking character. And we have two players tonight that are going to be representing him pretty well, which is Victor Freeze and Patient Impulse, which will be going against our Gnarly Gato for our, our main event tonight. But here we yeah. go, Caboose. We have the players in the lobby. It's about to go down. Let's get it. But yeah, I think you're absolutely right. Like, yeah, Raiden as a character in MK11 certainly didn't get kind of the love that he did in something like uh, MKX, impressive. or even or even the love that he got in Injustice 2. Um, like that character is pretty sick in Injustice 2. Um, so unfortunately, he didn't get that same sort of love here in MK11. But he's still a solid character. He's definitely like not, not maybe not the best option, but in the right hands of somebody like Victor Freeze, there's you can do some work. You definitely can. And look at that. Baylina right off the rip going with... Yo, what the... Yo. Yo did you just... Yo, Fierce Yo, with Fierce. the... Are you kidding me right now? Let's go. Fierce with the 20 gifted. This guy's a fucking madman. Fierce, oh, thank you so much. for Baylina, much. too. Cheering for Baylina oh, in the chat. Shit. Thing. Bro. All right. That's 20 gifted on Baylina. Let's see what happens as we get now into game one. Now, this is the first ascent to set destroy? This is the first of five. First of five. It's gonna we be have three first of fives? Or two first of five, two, one first of ten? Two first of fives, and then the main event will be a first of ten, which is gonna be Patient Gachi. versus Gnarly Gato. But already right All off right. the bat, Baylina setting up shop with Jade. Dude, That's I feel right. like it's been a minute since I've commentated this fucking game. Yeah, honestly, I, I gotta... I gotta Dust off some rush. Oh, 
I know. Oh, Listen, with us on the commentary, though, we just fucking talk shit. <laughs> to be honest, yeah, we're not really worried too much about talking about the game. <laughs> Well, look at this oh, right now. Done, the four I, I'm loving the way Baleen is utilizing that. Uh, wh what is that shit? The purple stuff when she activates it and projectiles purple go shit. through her. The purple yeah. shit. You know, a character like Raiden that is gonna try to have some uh, control in the neutral. He's gonna have a hard time dealing with all that that stuff from Baylina. But right now, doing the fucking mop. She's mopping right. out here. Need to burn the Delia's dance. Oh, the fatal blow! It looks like Baylina was maybe expecting the overhead or the grab out of the end of that string. So she clearly wasn't holding on the block, unfortunately. He got caught by the fatal. Kind of a smart decision there from Victor Freeze as he was looking to, to trick her out there. Whoa. But he doesn't have a fatal blow for the rest of this game. That, that was an incredibly big balls play from Victor Freeze right there. Risky. You know, going off of that fatal blow, if it was blocked, Baylina could have capitalized. Got the round, and he would have been off of the uh, the fatal blow. But no worry now. If there's one thing for Baylina to look forward to, is the fact that she doesn't have to deal with that fatal blow anymore. Beautiful flawless block. Look at that. That was nice. That was jump nice. into the throw punish. Okay. What's the follow up? Gonna go with the pole vault, but a counter grab from Victor Freeze. He's trying to play very patient here. That's a punish. Oh. Wait, Baylina, what are you doing? What is that? Was that an input error or was that intentional? I, I'm confused what happened well, there. Well, if, if you told me what the input direction was for that that uh, purple shit, then I can tell you what the fuck was that. But Baylina could have closed it out right there. But unfortunately, so she's still going to be fighting for her life here. Victor Freeze goes for the throw. He's trying to play it very patient here. What's it going to be? Activates the purple stuff. The purple Again, shit. Baylina, thankful that I'm sure that there's no fatal blow left. But oh you got to be God. really careful. She does have breakaway. Bro, this is getting way too fucking dangerous right oh, now! Oh, oh no! Breaker, yeah, that could breaker. be it. Yep, Wait. I think the breaker... Would the breaker have saved her? Would have, right? I'm not sure what happened there, but Victor Freeze with the comeback taking game one. Bro, that was absolute insanity. Honestly, Victor Freeze made some very clutch plays right there. And it's so unfortunate because Baylina did have the round in the bag. All she needed to do was catch the punish on the neutral duck, but unfortunately she oh, missed it. Can't break from Storm Cell, the chat is saying. So that really? was a smart move actually from Victor Freeze. Damn, Victor Freeze in full full combat league mode right now, huh? <laughs> These guys, they, they're, they're doing tryouts for FaZe Clan right now. <laughs> oh shit, they gotta go through <laughs> Snoop Dogg first. <laughs> Sorry to break it to you, buddy. You wanna go into FaZe Clan? You're gonna have to smoke a fucking fat blunt with Snoop Dogg, and then That's maybe it. you can get in there. That's it. That's how it's done. You piece of shit, motherfucker, you. Hey, hey. Sorry. Sorry. Slow it down there. Slow it down there. All right, all Big right. Big game right. one, Take though. It back. Uh, still, Baylina very much still in it. I mean, that's only game one, and she, she played a really good game there. Just a bit of an unfortunate circumstance. I don't know if it was an input error doing the purple shit in that moment when she had a very clear punish. It had to be an input error. The plan was no, there, there was no reason for her to activate the purple shit. Uh, by the way, right. chat, is Caboose's microphone levels all well? He is in a different setup, and I just want to make sure so everything you want is me good. Louder? No, no, no. I just want to make sure you're good. Because right, in my yeah, ear, know, chat. You, you sound a little low, but in the desktop audio, it seems like it's picking, a, picking you up fairly well. So, chat, real quick, give us feedback let me know, guys. on Caboose's let me know. audio. Mike levels are okay. fine. Okay, sweet. Great combo there from Victor Freeze. Okay, the overhead. Oh, no, is he gonna go? go is he gonna double up? He's trying to mix. Victor's really trying to mix here. The mop is gonna connect him at the end there. That's gonna be some good hit advantage oh, for I Belina. Like, I like that name for that move, the mop, huh? I mean, it's called Delia's Dance or Delilah's Delilah. Dance. Or Hey there, Delilah. Hey there, Delilah. I'm a stupid <laughs> piece of shit, and I spam this move all the time, and I'm a asshole. That one? <laughs> okay. Yeah, that's the song. I think it got it. Good down, down two. two there. Gonna hit him with the mop again. Goes with the cartwheels into the pole vault. That was that was nice. Careful of that throw. No way. Teleport into the back one. Down two, trying to catch that breakaway. That was a very risky wake up, but if I'm not mistaken, I think Jade's wake up is safe. Correct me if I'm wrong. I think so. <laughs> we don't know shit about this game. Honestly, let's just not even commentate. <laughs> Whiff punish big time here from Victor Freeze. She's There's gonna break, break her. She's gonna. Nice oh tech. wow, that was a sick ass tech, dude. 
that right there, she needs to be careful going for the air glaves because every single time she's done it so far, Victor freeze. Exactly. He's got like a reaction yeah. to it. He's he's uh, on point with that shit. Go for another teleport. Oh, oh the no! down two is out of range. Whoa! Oh, just went for a raw fatal blow, but the teleport. Victor Freeze gets out of there, and it looks like that this down is down two might end. kill. No breakaway, unfortunately. Oh god, was that? He was looking for the brutality, wasn't he? Wow. Yo. Wait. Yo, on this game guy. Two? This guy's on demon mode. On <laughs> game two. Fuck? Holy shit, Victor, chill. Now only the real ones remember what this fatality looked like before. Only the real ones remember the glitch that Raiden's face had during this fatality. I don't remember, you gotta refresh my mind. You don't remember he was just stone faced? He, he has like no reaction, just oh, he was with a blank ass face. He was high? His face, yeah, he was stone. Shit, well I might have to join him next time he does that fatality. <laughs> But bro, let's talk. If we talk about faces, did you see Jade's face as her head was split in half? <laughs> <laughs> she was fucking in shock, literally. <laughs> Some of these fatalities on the female specifically are so fucking brutal, man. Especially Honestly, Cassie Cage, because she's so like a fucking teenager. She's getting fucking killed. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's she's true. Over, over here getting brutal like that. <laughs> Like, yo, chill, homie. You're killing me. Chill, she's fucking senior in high school, and you killed her. Chill. Oh, man. Uh, I didn't see. Is Baylina sticking with the uh, with the Jade? No, it looks like uh, she switched over to, to uh, Totona Son Briggs. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sorry. Or not Totona Briggs, Totona Blade. Totinski. Totinski, there it is. Here we go. If there's anything that's gonna give her a damage boost, it's this skin that she's got going. The classic Sonya. Gonna put it on ya. <laughs> the Ooh. OG MILF, as she called the variation name. <laughs> well, I was like, yo, chill. <laughs> but never hey, mind. Yeah, I didn't call it that. Never I didn't call mind. it that. <laughs> nice down to punish there. Okay, Baylina right now. All over Victor, taking that first round very convincingly here in game three. Yeah, and, and this- Vitality pissed her off. Yeah, she took a piss on his head. And what's really good about this pick, <laughs> To tell you the truth, she doesn't really have to worry about, you know, How dealing- you gonna move on when you just said that? Oh, sorry. She's, she, <laughs> dude, she doesn't have to worry about, like, you know, whipping that air glaive and, and dealing with Raiden's yeah. teleport now. I feel yeah. like now she can focus on a more- Wow, beautiful whip punish from Victor Freeze. She can focus more on a, on a grounded game and kind of just mix. Just chip away. Kind of just mix here. Oh, it gets caught there. The teleport oh, the into the throw. For the projectiles. Wait a second. Be extra careful here. Victor is playing the slow game. Good flawless blocking there from Bailey. Yeah, Avoiding she's waiting that chip down. She's just trying to walk him down right now. Very patient. You love to see it. She calls the orbital drop on top of his head. That's the piss oh. on the head we were talking about earlier. The orbital yes. drop. She's pissed. Oh, magic pixel. If she makes his comeback, be very tough. If she makes his comeback, I'm snapping my own oh. fucking leg off. Okay, thank God. Couldn't get the flawless block, otherwise she would have survived that projectile there. We're going to a final round here in game three. Very good, projectile is coming in hot. They're getting to getting into a little zone war. She wanted to punish yeah. off that teleport, but didn't catch it in time. God damn, the fact that Raiden was able to down one and avoid that standing one from Belina, oh. that was ruthless. Did you just see the baiting there from Victor Freeze going for the back one okay. string? He yeah. went for the teleport the first time, it does it the second time, it punishes the down two. He, he's kind of been doing that all this this entire set, that bro. conditioning. Yeah, with punishes from left to right. There it is. Conditioning again, Destroyer. It's working out really wow. well for him. I, why didn't that work? It wasn't in range. She wanted the fatal blow. She's looking for an answer here. Victor Freeze just all over the place right now. She gets the interactable jump in. Oh Tries no, to close that's that gonna cap. be the game. Yeah, it is, unfortunately. If he goes right, for another fatality. This no, guy. No, bro, Victor, what this the fuck? This fucking guy. Not like Same this. Same one, two? Do you know what this Same is? Same one? This is the intimidation factor, bro. It is, it's the mind game, right? Victor Freeze is basically saying no milfs allowed. <laughs> wow. My controller died, it's too violent. GG's. Too much. Too much for your controller. Hold on, I... 
Dude, why does this game do that? In MKX, when your controller dies, it doesn't fucking, uh... It doesn't... Got that thing on your screen? Yeah, it doesn't slap like, please. It's like, hi, puppy. Puppy, please. <laughs> it doesn't do that. This game does that all the time. I'm about to fucking sell MK11 and never play it again. Mama huevo. Mama fucking huevo. Man, I'll tell you what though, Baylina still has a, a shot to turn this around. Victor Freeze is gonna be up three games to O here. She has two games to work with, Caboose. Two games. Yeah. I mean, it, it's definitely whittling down to the wire here, but I have faith. I have faith in Baylina. What are we what are we looking at right now? Uh, katana? Yeah, she's got the Adenian nipple twist. You see it right there? <laughs> You see the, that's the name of the move, yeah. That's the name of the move? Yeah. Fight. All right, yeah, well, here this, we go. This is a first of five. Also, if anybody wants to contribute to the Macharino, uh, the prize pool is going to be going to... Did I spell Macharino wrong? I put Macharneo. I can't. This guy's in Macharneo. <laughs> there it is. If anybody wants to contribute to the prize pool, I have myself put $50 into the prize pot. If you guys want to put anything else, all the money will be going to the winners of today's sets. So, definitely uh, consider doing it, and I'd be very appreciative if you guys contribute to the prize pool. Punish there. Uh, wow. <laughs> oh, but Lena was trying to get in, and Victor Freeze punishes her for a nice 31% off that combo. And good tech on the throw. She's on point Lina's with the grab techs. Lena is alive and has Fatal Blow. I know, one confirm, and this can turn around. Oh no, that was a projectile oh. you did not want to get hit by. And yeah. then meter burning it on the jump in, very unfortunate. Belina is in struggle city right now, dealing with this Raiden, it seems. With punish, big time now for Victor Freeze, pushing Belina into the corner. Here comes the staggers, punishes the wake up. Is he gonna, is he, gonna he gets the up. second overhead. This is gonna be so much damage. My goodness, Holy Destroyer, fuck. 47%. That and he is not the damage the you usually see with Raiden, and he's going to go consult the Elder Gods. Motherfucker, don't do it. Oh, look at this fatality now. Oh, shit. Jesus Christ, this is some fucking... She's all right. She's all right. <laughs> this is some fucking Hellraiser shit, bro. She's, she'll be all right. Dude, I low-key forgot how brutal Raiden's fatalities were. <laughs> Yeah, to be honest. This guy's fucking demonetizing my videos instantly. <laughs> you still dealing with that shit? What's what's going on there? Oh, brother. You lucky Talk, you don't eh? you lucky you're not doing MK content right now, I'll tell you that much. Oh shit. Motherfuckers. But goddamn, Victor Freeze going up four games to zero? Uh listen. I'm gonna give Baylina the benefit of the doubt. I'm gonna I'm gonna still have hope here. But in order for her to make this comeback, Caboose, mm. she's got a massive hill to climb here. Massive hill to climb here. Yeah, this is this is certainly going to be tough. This is certainly not going to be easy. But, I mean, Baylina is not somebody that you can count out. She hasn't been completely out of it, too. I think, like, the game she had with Jade, even the game that she ran there with Sonya, and now with Katana, it's never been this one-sided, complete, like, destruction you know she she's still staying in it so like yeah. i wouldn't count her out and i wouldn't i wouldn't say it's completely out of the realm of possibility for this to be become the beginning of a comeback well i feel like in order for her to make the comeback here she is gonna have to play a little heavier in the neutral because one thing i can tell you about victor yeah. freeze he's baiting out everything this guy's not letting her like whip nothing in his face because he's he's always ready for that fucking whip punish, man. That's that's right. You're absolutely right. I think the most key thing here that Baylina needs to do is be careful. Oh, and beautiful mix to those up. Strings. She could have caught Nicely the done. Okay. Gets the brush. And that's a combo too. Oh, drops it. It's okay. Yeah. As long as she doesn't let uh Victor Kaki fail make a, a comeback here, she'll be good. That's right. Healthy life lead right now for Baylina. Got to close out this round though. With Fatal Blow available, Victor Freeze. Beautiful trade. Isn't in the worst she, position. She's got to be careful for that teleport. You know Victor's looking for the reaction. There it is. There it is. Waited for just any sort of start of an animation for Victor Freeze to try and trade on projectiles. The Booty Warrior, as it's named now. <laughs> Gotten that first round. 
I like, oh, I like whoa, how, hey. I like how warrior spelled. Yeah. <laughs> Wario? Warrior. Nicely done, the low poke in the he, overhead. He turned, into, to he turned into John Rambo right in that name. <laughs> warrior, yeah. Uh, yeah, the booty warrior. The booty warrior. It's me, the booty warrior. I got you. Oh, oh, John Rambo, I have a nice day. That's fourth throw crushing blow available right now for Raiden. The booty Unless warrior. Let's get a tech throw. That's the round spending two bars a meter to the guarantee warrior. the round. Good stuff. Victor Freeze match point now. I'm the booty warrior. How can I help you? Is that you? You're the guy? I'm the guy. I'm selling uh, booties for half off. Sick. Yo, let me get three. I got you. You want them tatted or non tatted? <laughs> <laughs> that, that joke cuts deep. I don't know if anybody's going to know. <laughs> Good reversal. Done. So, uh, find the a lot of zoning right now, but does Baylina want to get into this battle? I mean, I think those fan tosses can tend to be a little quicker. Oh my oh, god, he had the that floor loaded? Crush. That's right. I didn't even know that was activated. I forgot about it, and I'm not worried about focusing on all the other shit you do when you're in the middle of a match. For real. One thing about that stab string, I feel like if the first one whips and he commits to the second hit. What? Oh, Baylina no. trying to contest that, but unfortunately he's going to catch her with... Oh, that's GG. Oh, she tried to go for the raw fatal, and unfortunately those frames of, uh, of armor didn't come through quick enough. And Victor Freeze was able to get the throw to shut it down, take this set. But I'm going to tell you now, if he did this as CEO with uh, Jabali around... Jabali would have DQ'd him. He would have been pissed. He would have been pissed. Jabali would have suplexed his ass. He would have been pissed. He would have said, you're cutting into the tournament time? What are you doing? <laughs> and then his fucking, uh, his balls would have exploded. Have oh, a nice shit. day. That was going to happen? You were, you saw that? Have a nice fucking you, day. You knew that was going to happen? I didn't know. He told Why everybody. Not? You should have known. All right. You know what? You're taking it too far, buddy. All right. You're taking it too far. Okay, yeah. All right. But, yo, uh, that was insane, man. That was nuts. That was I, nuts. I, I can't believe that went down like that. I really can't. Um, you know, the, the way the first match started, it was, it was down to the wire. But I feel like Victor Freeze just ended up getting into her head and... You know, yeah. Raiden as a whole, this guy teleporting and, and doing all this fuck shit, it, it becomes very difficult to deal with. I mean, I'm sure a lot of people can agree with me. Raiden is one of those characters in Mortal Kombat that you almost never get to play against. And the times you do mm -hmm. play against him, it's usually against a fucking demon. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And Victor Freeze... I mean, nobody's going to play a character that's kind of on that lower tier side unless they're like either really good or really confident with them, right? Yeah, really good or really confident. And I mean, Victor Freeze, like I said earlier, man, the dude is a demon of a Raiden player. Uh, that that match could have went any other way, but unfortunately it is going to be a 5-0 on Victor Freeze's part. I mean, GG's to Victor Freeze, incredible uh, Raiden performance. And I want to say thank you so much to Baylina for, for coming mm -hmm. out here and just, you know, bringing the fucking the heat with with totona blade and katana <laughs> and all, all these fucking characters absolutely badass uh matches we had there but the next match we have underway here is going to be and this is a, an exciting one as well uh both these players play characters that again we don't get to see quite often we got jet ring who's special jet ring who specializes with the joker and then we have Diddlelick, who specializes with. It's me, Arnold. You good? You, you good? You, you okay? Good, you okay, are, bro? Are you? Are you? Are you okay, bro? Are you? Are you okay? Are you okay, bro? Are you, are you okay? You need me to call the ambulance? Yeah. Six of them. <laughs> okay, let me see. Uh, so... So who did you say we got? We got Jet Ring and who? Uh, Jet Ring versus Little Dick. 
Oh, okay. I see you. I see you. Let me see something real quick, though, because we got to make sure the production is right here. So I am going to have to open up studio mode for just one second. And I'm going to have to change these characters. Right. Fuck it. I'll drive. Fuck it. I'll fucking drive. But yeah, I mean, tell me, what would you what'd you think about that match that just went down? I mean, that was solid. That was a good set. I mean, like, it's unfortunate, I guess, that uh, that it ended the way that it did. But, like, I, I'd give it up to Baylina still for what she was able to do. Like, again, there's there's maybe one game in there where Victor Freeze really played out of his mind with Raiden, and it was like... The whiff punishes. It, it felt the like it was one-sided. The punishes were it's, out of control. It was definitely... It was those whiff punishes that were huge. But outside of that, like, those first two games especially, like, it came down at one point to just an input error that uh that ended up being the loss for Baylina. so she was she was very much in it you know it's it's unfortunate because you see you look at something like the score you see 5-0 and you think that like is a 5-0 but sometimes the way these sets play out even when we do normal champions of the realms and somebody's getting 3-0 or whatever it might be like sometimes the way these sets play out it doesn't feel like it's just a quick 3-0 and let's wrap things up you know like sometimes they play out like they've gone to to their final game or something like that you know it's a it's more so about what actually happens within the matches. And I'd say that like Baylina played played very well. You know, it's, it certainly wasn't for lack of trying or anything. You know, it's just this man, Victor Freeze, like you said, is a, an absolute demon with that Raiden. And it's, it was cool too for me to see Raiden being played at that level. Like I haven't seen too many Raiden players on this game. And what Victor Freeze was able to do is pretty wild. Yeah, dude. And what's crazy about it too is yo this dude was like out for blood <laughs> the amount of fatalities he did i was like bro y'all got a personal beef or something <laughs> what the fuck is going on here yeah and then there's some dumbasses in chat unfortunately well what would they do uh, being dumbasses that's what they're doing don't you have mod access ban those fucking i got dumbasses. it i got it i'm on it ban I'm those fucking it. dumbasses right now and, and let them know the next time they show up i'm gonna take these two fingers and stick it into their fucking eyes let me stop i think i think I, what I, we gotta I do i think i think what's most important is like if you're talking shit in the chat if you want to hop into a first to five like if you want to talk your shit and then you want to show up and play the game you could do that too you could <laughs> talk your shit who, you should back it up. Who you turned into, bro? Tony Corleone? Okay, buddy, That's I me. see you. That's me. I'm the guy. All right, I see Son you, guy. Bitch. I see you, guy. Son of a bitch. All right, guy. Yeah, you know. It's me. You know, sometimes I tell people. Fucking Tony. You know, sometimes I tell people. What do you if, tell people? If they fuck with me, I'm going to break their fucking legs. I'm going to put them in the yeah, fucking tell them, when I put him in the, when I put him in the fucking ocean, the fishes are gonna nibble on their fucking nipples. <laughs> <laughs> you like that? Yeah, I like that. That's what's up. <laughs> All right, the next, That's what's up. <laughs> the next match underway here, Diddlelick versus Jet Ring. This should be a hype one. Players are already here, not even giving us a chance to showcase these awesome fucking graphics. <laughs> I, I can, bro. That's the thing about doing these uh this event. Everyone is You got just... a sec, you got a sec. Yo, your graphics, I mean chat. Come on, tell me my boy Destroyer Come doesn't on. put on a fucking clinic when it comes to production for these uh for these online tourneys. Thank you, man. I really appreciate it. And none of this would be possible without you, brother. Like, you know, me and you, we always brainstorm trying to figure out what the fuck to do. And then we we reach out. Like, I'm not the one designing this stuff, but we reach out to people that are able to bring our ideas to life. Right. And right. it's just definitely an, an honor to, to be able to present this stuff for you guys. Oh, shit. I got to change the fucking names. It's Jet Ring versus Diddle Lick. Okay. Here we go. Match is underway. <laughs> Let's get it going. Yo, I love seeing Joker played at a high level. This is a character that, uh, I'll be completely honest, I didn't really want in MK11. For me, it was like, you know, if I wanted to play Joker in like a in like a solid fighting game, like I that's available to me, you know? It's the same way when I look at like MK characters showing up in Injustice. It's like Scorpions and MKX. Scorpions are a million Mortal Kombat games that are a lot of fun to play still. Yeah. So like, I would rather those slots be reserved for like, Someone like Hellboy, who we haven't seen, the Ninja Turtles, who you've never seen before and shit. Or, or like in this game, Spawn, who people have been Spam. waiting for forever. Spam. You know, like, to, give me give me some characters that we, we haven't seen. Yeah, speaking of Wanda, fucking, you gonna see Doctor Strange? 
Uh, should I? Did you see it? Go to the Multiverse of Madness. Did you see the movie? Yeah, I think it's great. So it's worth my money. No, it's a shit movie. Don't see it. All right, so I'll save my money then. That's right. Oh, very good opening here. He's gonna get the the Nomad Dash with the combo conversion. You know, silly of me to think this guy was gonna play fucking Arnold. This guy's got a goddamn <laughs> cabal, a cabal, cabal sack on his sleeve. Look at this, tossing and turning him all here. over the place. I'm surprised one of these dudes haven't slipped off this fucking bridge and fell into the acid pool. <laughs> right? <laughs> to be honest, they got the balance of the gods. Straight up. It's a very narrow stage. Motherfuckers is fighting for their lives here. Oh! To be honest. Fucking dashed up, hit him with a down two, caught him right out of the air. Look at that, he's boxing him. Giving this guy Dude. the fucking Mike Tyson. Combo there, hopping around. Wow! With the boxing oh down to God. Oh wow, that's a huge, huge punish there from Diddle. That was clean. That was fucking clean. He's gonna jump back. He it's wants fatal. something. He's looking for something. Uh -oh, but another dirty it. whip punish from Jet Ring. This should kill, and indeed it will. Are we gonna get a brutality? No brutality. Oh, imagine. I was waiting for it. Imagine it. Can you imagine it though? I'm imagining it. After what we saw Victor Freeze do, that's all I'm thinking about. Fatalities and brutalities now. But can you imagine it though? Let me think about it real quick. All right. You get back to me. Yeah, I, I can imagine it. Dude, bitch. Sorry. Sorry. Wow. Sorry, sorry. Wow, that's that's foul. I'm sorry, man. I'm that's real so foul. You know that? You know what? You, you take over from here. I'm going to go make my 30th build in Elden Ring. This guy's going to go play fucking Elden Ring. This guy can't get enough. I can't get they enough. They can't get enough. He literally goes to sleep. He's like, Elden Ring. Elden Ring. That's me. I'm an Elden Ring crackhead. What can I say? But I still haven't tried it out, you know? Well, so I got I to gotta get in there. You you, know? you, have you ever played Sekiro or Dark Souls or any of those games? I played Sekiro, but I was I was shit at it, man. I don't blame you. I was too. So you're calling me shit. I'm calling both of us shit. Very nice. Jester in the box going to smack him. Nice oh. throw there. Dude. I saw your Kratos build. That shit was crazy. Oh, you like that Throwing shit? Ring. That shit is crazy. Kratos. Oh, good grab tech. Diddle Link is gonna have to try to fight his way out of this corner because right now Jet Ring is just a be- Oh, that was disgusting to jump back with the standing two smacks him right in the Very fucking face. Nice. Here we go. Wait, is that for Destroyer, you know what that was? Fortnite? Do you know what that you know what just happened? What? I think the chat missed it. What? That was 41% one bar. <laughs> I missed it. That was the cover coveted 41% one bar. Oh, bro, if Jet Ring makes his comeback. He's playing very safe. That could have been uh -oh. it. He opens uh -oh. him up. Why didn't he go for the fatal blow? Uh -oh. Uh -oh. oh, nice wow. trade on the low poke diddle. That was getting dangerous. Yo, Jet Ring is fucking very dangerous, bro. Very dangerous with his Joker. Nice down too. The dude is a literal clown. Very nice. He's going to launch him. Delays the string just so he can connect it flawlessly. You love to see it. A juicy little 33%. Goes with the Batsy Pew. Ooh, wow. The low is going to connect. What's the damage looking like? The side switch. Caboose. This guy's ready for everything. Yo, that was a flawless victory. That was a flawless. You're right. That was a motherfucking flawless victory out of nowhere. Tries to get another down two, but the beautiful jump kick conversion from... I was going to call him... I was going to call him uh, Kerbo, but... Middle leg. <laughs> Kerbo number two. Kerbal sack? Yeah. Ooh, beautiful stuff, bro. Very nice. I mean, if there was anything as close to a return flawless, it would be what Diddle Lick just did here. Or did I just commentators curse this bitch? I don't know. You gotta be really careful. A character like Joker Yo! 
can stagger you to hell. Wow, did you see that air-to-air -air punish? Yeah, into the Nomad Dash brutality. Diddlelick was ready for that, bro. Disgusting. Yeah, that was just straight savagery. And what's beautiful about this is the fact that this motherfucker Diddlelick, I kind of feel like he... I don't know how to say I don't want... You know what? Let me know if I'm wrong about this chat. But Diddlelick was known for having a very good Baraka. He was known for having a very good Terminator. And I feel like compared to characters like Cabal, compared to characters like Jackie, you know, the top tiers, he was kind of hindering his 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 fucking success. Would you say? Right. Like he was holding him himself back. He was, he was he's kind of holding himself back. I feel like now that he's like devoting time into a character like Cabal Sack, this is just a whole nother fucking playing field. Yeah, I mean, switching uh, switching over to a character that a lot of people consider to be one of the best in the whole game in the hands of somebody who's a fierce competitor like Diddle, that's a, that's a scary combination for sure. Oh, yeah. Round one, fight. Here we go now, game three starting things off with the Nomad Dash. That's a Cabal special right there. Too slow. Got the Diddle? spins. Oh, no, wrong, wrong character. Oh, true, true, true. My bad. If Cabal, if Cabal says it, he says, You don't impress me. You don't impress me. Okay, you got it. It's about to get his soul sucked. Hey, yo. Whatever. Hey, yo, pause. What? Whatever. Who's getting what sucked? I'm out. I'm out. <laughs> look at you guys. Like, like there. Dumbledore in the background. He says, <laughs> You said who? Who is that in the background? Big man Japan. <laughs> <laughs> he walked off the screen after that one. He said, don't you ever call me that again, bitch. What the fuck does ODM gear mean? Is that like a Batman reference? I don't know. This guy's going to a rave. Whoa, Whoa. what? Okay, Whoa. not that that punish wasn't godlike, but this Whoa. is risky bisky right now for Ditto. Risky bisky. <laughs> this is a risky, risky bit. No, no fucking shot. No All fucking right. shot, bro. Shut the goddamn stream up. Bro, Jet Ring right now had to have let out a fucking turd after that one. There's got to be pieces, <laughs> pieces of turds on the floor after that one. Guaranteed. No fucking way did run Nomad Dash after the Fatal Blow. There's no way he ran Nomad Dash after the Fatal Blow. Yeah, I can't fucking believe it. He's gonna open him up. Hits him with the Nomad Dash again. He's got him locked down in the corner. Diddle oh, Lick man. just unleashing hell. Good tech. This is this is a mountain to climb if I've ever wow. seen one. And his shins get attacked by the air ball sack. Or ball saw. Or buzz Bro. Saw. What has gotten into Diddlelick? This guy is playing like a full savage. If there's one thing I can tell you about this uh, Champions of Realms Arena series, it definitely brings out the demons out of people, for sure. That was nuts. That was fucking nuts. Garlic nuts? The fatal blow punish off of the leap, and then he he, he raw nomad dash to, fo to follow up. Yeah, to just completely fuck him. The son of a bitch. Well, let's see what he does. He's got a variation named Law Corroder. Isn't that that fucking toxic motherfucker in the EU? Or, or maybe I'm thinking of somebody Ooh. else. Law Corridor? Is he is he toxic? I think he, he he's kind of toxic. Who's, Who's this? All right, forget it. I give up. Who's it? What's that? Who's it? I'm sorry, who are you again? Let's see, who's it? Who's oh, the guy? I'm sorry, what's your name again? It's uh, Jim. Oh, Jim, nice to meet you. This is Stevie. Oh, nice to meet you. Yeah, how, how you doing? Oh, nice to meet you. Yeah, how, how, you, how you doing? I'm doing Cabal Sack. Oh, okay. Oh, the jump over the Batsy Pew. He's trying to get an opener here. Goes for the overhead, but a beautiful block coming from Jet Ring. He's gonna like duck under. Caught in the air. Bro, that is just fucked up. The fact that he can go with double jump kicks and shit. 
That is just foul. Nice 30% there. Okay, gets the 2-1 to land. Looking for the cross-up. It's not going to work. Yo, Gotta be really way, careful with that we lead. are at $70 for the prize pot. If we can get this bad boy up to $100, hey. I'll be happy. Let's go. 30, Thank everybody who's donated. Let, let's get 30 more dollars into the prize pot. 30 more dollars and I'll, I'll, be a, I'll be a happy person. You said you're going to get your nipples pierced. Hey, hey, hey. Hey. <laughs> Okay, gotta be careful now if you're Diddle. That Fatal Blow is ready. Joker is a character that can do a lot with that Fatal Blow. Oh, nicely done. That was nuts. What was he looking for? What was the setup there? Oh, that's gonna be the round, unfortunately. Not really sure what the setup was there that Jet Ring was going for. Well, I'm curious, like, when you pit both these characters in a matchup chart, Who's got the advantage? That's what I'm kind of uh, trying to figure out here. Because I know Jet Ring is literally a master of the trade with, with uh, Joker. Dude, that yeah, fucking trade. cane he's got. <laughs> that looks so painful. Yeah, that one got a little needle there. <laughs> shit, that shit damn. Hurt. Look at this corner control right now. He's going to instantly switch sides here. Jet Ring right now. Trying to open him up, but okay, that's what he needs. The bird boy beat down. Being as being his ass like fucking Negan from uh that show with the zombies. Well, I never heard of that show. What is it called? The Walking Dead? Uh, the Walking Diddle? <laughs> the Walking Diddle. He's gotta be very careful going with the low batsy pew because if Diddle like makes that read, I'm pretty sure he can just leap right in there and punish him for it. Wow! Here we go now. Watch the fatal blow destroyer. That is the that is the ultimate comeback. What is this combo, right bro? Holy shit! Blow with the interactable. This guy is doing jump attacks like there's no. Oh no my god! The way. shutdown. The fucking shutdown on the forward no three. No way. Too slow is exactly what he said right that, there. That's unfortunate because out of all the things that Jet Ring could have possibly gone for there, he went for the slowest startup string that Joker has, being that forward three two. Yeah, dude, that was absolute genius from uh, from Diddlelick. Just the fact that he was aware of that situation and and threw that out, fucking ten out of ten. Actually, you know what? Oh, I try to give him a ten, but. I was, I was too slow. <laughs> yeah, if anyone's trying to donate to the pot, if you guys are enjoying these matches, exclamation point, Macharino, champ. I keep spelling it wrong, bro. <laughs> Machinio. <laughs> this guy said, <laughs> this guy said, Macharino. <laughs> it's a pizzeria Macharino. Pizzeria Macharino. <laughs> Everybody's is it pineapple in the, the pizza? Math Serena? It's a me. It's a pineapples in the pizza with a pineapple in the pizza. All right. All right. We're going to settle this once and for all. Press one in the chat if you like pineapple on pizza. Two in the chat if you don't. And then three if you're a pizza shit. Well, shit. Let's see. Can I pick number three? Can I pick number three? Or is that not allowed? Wow, there's a couple pi- oh, there's a couple pieces of shit. All right. How about this? I got a new one. Press one in the chat if you eat shit. <laughs> what? What? That's your only option. <laughs> <laughs> what? Dude. Did you just see that? <laughs> no mad dash in front of his face, bro. How? How is Jet Ring letting this stuff just... Yo, did you see that mid-round taunt? That was insanity. I ain't never seen Cabal just do a backflip like that. What's that about? Oh, he goes for the stagger into the throw. Oh. Too slow. What's the follow-up going to be? The forward two. Oh, my God. Oh. I mean, bro, right if, if Diddlelick wins this, he's going to be up four games to one. Jet Ring's in big trouble here. He's got to start clutching it out. Beautiful stuff. What was that? Down four? Did he mean to do that? 
Wow, good block to the cross up. Jet Ring playing a good defensive game right now. Gotta wow, watch this. out for that throw though. Nice air to air. It's gonna be good damage now for Jet Ring as the lag spikes. He gets through it though. Dude, that's kind of in the name of his entire cell. Oh, he's dead. Oh no. Well, it's not gonna be okay, it. Okay, no, it's, it's not. not. It. I thought that was gonna do a lot more damage. Good I'm tech, he needed it. Dude. Oh no, but he caught him in the air with those dashes. Good Anyone stuff stop there from Diddle. Can Damn. anyone stop me? Can anyone? Can any? Okay. Can any? I don't think anyone's stopping this dude right now, man. Can anyone? Diddle, Diddle Lick is on a fucking tear right stop now. Me. Just absolutely annihilating everything in his wake. Honestly, if Jet Ring wants to make a comeback, I don't want to say it, but maybe consider changing characters yeah uh do you know any other what are the characters jet ring has up his sleeve like, yeah he's go got go he's got joker he's got a really good joker i know he also plays joker oh right he's also got a pretty decent I think joker. in one tournament yeah he was playing joker i think in one tournament you can maybe switch to them yeah dude joker might might be the way for him to win this right now yeah Maybe if if Jering really wants to, like I know it's it's kind of a character that's all, like not not a lot of people pick him, but he can go with Joker. Let's you know, see what so. happens. It, it kind of looks like he's sticking with Joker. I, I don't think he should have gone with Joker. He probably should have gone with Joker instead. Yeah, man, you're right. Oh, nicely done. The flawless block okay, into the up on. That's the first flawless block we've seen this entire set, dude. Can we talk about these Nomad dashes for a second? How the fuck Dude. is this guy just letting them rip and they're like constantly working non-stop? There's just something with Cabal. It's like when he does a Nomad dash, you're hypnotized and you forget that the block button exists. <laughs> you forget what's life. Seriously. Oh, you need to confirm those, bro. You do, you do. That would have gave him the life lead as well. Joker, it's fairly hard in this game. So, you know, missing right. out on conversions like that, you're going to be putting yourself in a crippling position. Oh, what punish. a They're catch on the roll. the roll. And this is most likely going to be a match point situation for Diddlelick. Looking to take this set five games to one. It's this tough game. because that very first game was it was the Jet Ring show. And it seems like ever since then, Diddle has just completely hit the download button. Yeah, dude. Okay, very nice. 33% in the corner. He's going to go for the counter throw. Good thing he didn't get an escape fail. That would have been very dangerous. Wow, you saw he tried to hit him with the air-to-air -air trade, but unfortunately, Diddle is going to shut him down. At this point, I'm convinced oh. you do not want to go in the too. air against a character like uh, Joker. Beautiful stuff. Oh. Keeping it safe with the jack-in-the-box. Right now, Jet Ring's got to be so careful. Gotta yeah. try and close out this life bar. Because one I'll combo, one combo from uh, Diddle, aka and Fatal Blow is available now. Yeah, dude, it's gonna, it's definitely 100% GGs if he connects. Wow, that's just, this position. is so scary. And there it is. Jeez. There is the one conversion he needed, and Diddle is gonna close this set out five to one. And that's tough, man. That is really tough because Jet Ring played extremely well with Joker. He just, it probably would have been better if Jet Ring went with Joker instead. Bro, is this Champions of the Realms Arena speedrun edition? <laughs> speedrun any percent, seriously. Holy shit. I know, that's the first two first of fives done. <laughs> I mean, look, this is good for me because I don't know when I got to get into uh, Aquaman's fucking Coliseum. So. Yeah. You know, if they're still running matches on their end, this gives me a time to, you know, take care of some stuff. So I gotta take a really fat <laughs> shit. Yeah, yeah, right, right. Yeah, I gotta take a real big dookie. So this exactly. actually- Sometimes this Sometimes you got a Mondo Duke, you know? Yeah, Mandalorian. So this actually works out perfectly for me, honestly. <laughs> this guy's a DeLorean. And then I gotta take the Mandalorian shit. Oh, you're taking out the Mandalorian? Yeah. I'm taking, him taking out. him I'm taking him out to dinner. Well, Mandalorian likes uh he likes red lobster and I know he likes Olive Garden. So oh gonna, nice. That's good. I'm gonna see if I can take him out to one of those spots. And yeah, then, yeah. And then he, he told me he's gonna hook me up with a baby Yoda. Oh no way. Like the yeah. real one. The original baby Yoda. He's gonna hook me up with the original baby Yoda. The actual the actual baby Yoda. Yeah. 
So I'm looking forward to that. But yo, Caboose, amazing. you know, again, that is the first two first of fives down the drain. Almost instantaneous. I like that face you put there. I, I don't even know what to say. Um, but yeah, we're we're gonna just go ahead and, and get the next match going. Again, Champions of Arms Arena. This is a, uh, a little side project that we do aside from the usual shit that me and Caboose do, the, the regular Champions of Arms tournaments and yeah. the invitationals. So this right here, absolute insanity. Uh, the final set is going to be a first to 10. So hopefully this isn't gonna be a blowout. I mean, we got two killers going at it here. This final first to 10 match main event tonight, it's gonna be Patient Impulse versus Gnarly Gato Alex. The dude's name yep. is fucking incredible. And again, we're gonna get two players who have some awesome characters in their arsenal. Gnarly Ooh, Gato. Gnarly Gato is gonna be rocking the uh, the jacks. And then we got uh, fucking Patient Impulse, who is also a Raiden player. So that's a sick ass matchup. You know what I'm saying? Jax versus Raiden. I feel like that can go any way. Uh, Jax yeah. is one of those characters who can really lock you down with mid pressure. He has one of the best mids in the game and his mix ups can be overwhelming sometimes with the fucking, he does like that punch into the low. Then he'll do the, the, the punch into the overhead and well, just. You're, you're talking mix ups. I mean, Raiden, as we saw in that last set with Baylina, like Raiden's a character that certainly has got a little bit of that too. I mean, that string with the back one too, you can either go into the teleport, you can go into storm cell, you can just end the string off their back one two and try to bait out the down two like you have a ton of options off of just one string alone so yeah raiden is certainly one of the lower tier characters there's just no doubting that but as we saw with somebody like victor freeze if it's in the right hands any character can be portrayed to be top tier you know it all depends on who's got the controller in their hands and what they're doing with the character so i look forward to seeing this set for exactly what you're mentioning here man these are going to be some characters but this is going to be a set that's pretty unorthodox, something that you don't see very often. And just for that alone, it, it gets me hyped. Yeah, so here we go. I'm just going to go ahead and get these invites sent out. And we'll get this first to 10 rolling. Oh, uh, we'll also. He said we're going to keep rolling, 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 rolling. Yes. Yes. All right. That's what I All said. Right. Good. You like uh, limp biscuits? What'd you call me? Do you like limp biscuits? Yeah. Hold on, is this guy, is that an L? Patient Impulse. Who's that? I don't know, I can't find this guy. I think it's a, an that? underscore. Look at man, we got players sending me the wrong fucking PSN. You'll love to see it. I don't know, P PSN's acting so weird. You have to like, enter out the whole name in order for them to pop up. It yeah. happened with uh, with Baylina's PSN as well. I don't know why the fuck it does that. But uh Yeah, it's stupid bullshit. Motherfucker. <laughs> so patient impulse and then we have Gnarly Gato Alex. That, that dude's name is out of control. He, he's definitely one of those guys that are gonna pull up and be yeah. like, hey dude, totally dude, radical dude, gnarly. <laughs> We're gonna have to we're gonna have to get him on the on the mic after this set to see if he can hit us with one of those. Oh yeah, dude. Oh yeah, dude. Totally, dude. I'll freaking drive. I'll fucking drive. And then also, right, before, are these guys gonna join? They're ever gonna join the game? Well, I'm, I'm, I'm setting up some uh, some graphics real quick because I always invite these people and I don't have anything ready. And then the, the only option I have is to I'm fucking so shit on the floor. And I don't want to shit on the floor anymore. I'm fucking sick and tired of doing that, bro. I'm sick and tired of shitting on the fucking floor. You don't understand? You don't understand? Huh? Ah! Huh? Ah! Dude, you just got a pile of shit? Yeah. Just a pile of human shit. Yeah. Okay, and now we have to change the characters real quick. So, Patient Impulse does play the Raiden. And then Gnarly plays the Jax. Uh, where the fuck? Where's Jax? Where's Jax, bro? There he is. Gone. Okay, sweet. We got the name set up. We got the players uh, set up. Invites have been sent out. 
It's about to go down, man. How do you this feel? This is it. So this one, this one is the first to ten. This is the first to ten. This is the main so event for tonight. One, the main event of the card that we got here tonight, and I gotta say, I'm pretty hyped for it because just as I mentioned, it's just it's a set you don't see very often. Like how many times can you say we got a we got a Jax player facing off against a Raiden player? Like I don't know. That just hypes me up because I love to watch characters that that may be considered lower tier or just characters that you don't see a ton of. And so that's that's what gets me hyped and gets me excited about a set like this. And for it to be first to ten now, now we're going into this main event. Yeah. Press one in the chat if you're hyped. Press two if you're a piece of shit. Oh shit! You're switching it up now. Switching it up, you know. Just, well, so just what's give three? two options. Just what's two three? Press three if uh, if you're gonna get some G fuel and use code Caboose at checkout. Oh, I like that option. I might have to do that mm. one. You like that one? Yeah, I might have to do that one. Mm hmm. But here we go. Players are here. Gnarly, Gato, dude, totally gnarly, radical, bro. <laughs> Going up against Patient Impulse. He's got the funniest fucking Raiden in the history of Mortal Kombat. Can you hit us with the laugh for the one time? <laughs> I don't think so. Okay, Raiden. Why are you, <laughs> why are you sounding like such a dickhead, Raiden? <laughs> I don't think so. Yeah. All right, Raiden. Fuck you. The Elder Gods will not be pleased. All right, Raiden. You settle down now, bitch. But he literally just said everything you said in the beginning. <laughs> word for word. Word for fucking word. That's so sick that they put this guy in the game, though. <laughs> Look at these variation names. <laughs> I fucking can't. You got big, big nation, and then you got Pikachu. Pikachu. It's a me, Pikachu. Very nice stuff oh, there from Gnarly that, that was a big right to his fucking head with the grenade launcher. I didn't quite see what the variations were looking oh. like here. Whoa, bro. Oh, nice up too. If, if Gnarly's making the reads on those teleports from Raiden, you know this guy's ready to fucking go ham. Yo, this guy's got the fucking orange lightning too. That's badass. What? Whoa! What? What was that? What was that anti-air? What? What was that anti-air? Hello? Hello? Is anybody home? Home alone? Home alone too? Bro. <laughs> That's exactly what he said walking away after he did he an anti-air like he that, bro. Did it. Dude's got no fucking chill right now. He's got no oh, chill and he's got, he's got fucking shit in his butt. Great interruption there. Oh, and he cancels the Superman. <laughs> I don't think so. All right, Raiden, chill. I don't think so. Raiden, you need to focus on your fucking match. I don't think so. This motherfucker. <laughs> Overhead not going to connect. Hold on. Will Gnarly Gato be able to get a... a oh, this is that's reset hurt. damage off the this breakaway is going to hurt. hurt. This is going to hurt a lot. Wow. Are we going to go to the upwards of 50%? Indeed, yes. we are. 52. 52. He just needs one more sequence. And he's got the arms heated oh. up, Destroyer. Overhead, Overhead. lands. Wake up oh. roll, but he's not going to be able to get to the other side. Wait, no. <laughs> the Elder Gods are pleased. The Elder Gods. You sound like fucking Yoda now, bro. What is happening? That's, that's what he sounds like, to be honest. You sound like fucking Yoda, bro. Holy shit. Oh, man. <laughs> that's, uh, that that was crazy. The ending there, that was, first of all, that was really smart stuff from, uh, from Gnarly Gato. Gnarly, Gnarly Gato. With the, uh... With the jacks there, catching the fatal blow off the breakaway. That's how you erase an entire health bar. And he had the arms heated up too. That could have absolutely been his game to win. Or, well, I mean, it would have been the round, but. Let's see what happens here. Patient Info no. is already taking game number one against. I don't uh, want to watch anymore. Against Gnarly Gato Kaki. Let's go watch the new Doctor Strange. What do you think? Man, I'm going to have to go check it out. I'm going to have to go Let's check it out. Let's get out of here. You telling me the movie's good? I'm gonna I'm gonna be sitting in the fucking theater like dead Goro in the background. <laughs> watching that shit. Do you do you watch the Marvel movies at all or is that not your thing? Yeah, I watch them. 
That's not your thing? I watch them. You, you hate them? My favorite one was the one with uh, Thick Thanos when he started twerking. You said the one where Ant-Man went up his ass? Yeah. Okay. Good stagger. He's going to open him up. This is going to be big boy damage. Gnarly Gato does have breakaway, but he's not going to use it. Yo, you saw that little teleport turnaround? This guy is honest. styling on him right now. Yo, Yo, okay. He's pulling out the tech. Oh, this is going to hurt big time. Bro, oh, never mind the breakaway. I, I love Jax the way he's just straight boxing motherfuckers out here. Seriously, this dude's a WWE wrestler. <laughs> For real, swinging like there's no tomorrow. Oh, oh the teleport was not enough to get out so of that smart. ground slam. Yeah. Teleport hitting on the other side with the ground slam. That was a big brain play right there. If Gnarly Gato can start using more of that in the neutral, that might render uh, Raiden's teleport useless in this matchup. What a whip punish. Bro, oh. toma, 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 toma. Restand into the throw crush. That's Big a restand for a nice 60% total. Oh, yeah. Another restand. What are you doing? Uh oh. Oh, no. Uh oh. Does he hit it? Uh oh. Does he hit it, Kaboom? He doesn't hit the whole thing. Oh, no. no and and the down to crush. He guessed right. He guessed right, Destroyer. Okay. First off, I want to say that was a complete 180 of a match. Holy fuck, did Gnarly Gato just turn up. We got a set. We got ourselves a set. Hopefully this will uh, go down to the wire so we make up on the time we lost for the speed runs. Yeah, I'm Sonic. I'm Sonic the Hedgehog. Hi, I can help you. The fuck? Oh, you never met Sonic? He's been uh, he's been in real bad shape. That's why he sounds like that. Yeah, what happened to him? Is he right? He's been doing a lot of drugs and he's just in real bad oh, shape. Shit. Yeah. You didn't know, man. You didn't I know? had no idea. I, I I haven't spoken to Sonic in a hot minute. You know, it's been a couple months. Yeah, you didn't know, huh? Unbelievable. He saw, it, it, went, it went from Sonic the Hedgehog to Sonic the Crackhead. Unfortunately, I hate to say it. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Oh, yeah? yeah. Ho hopefully, he fixes himself up, though. Round hopefully. Four, but here we go, getting right back into this match. Mama Huevo. Oye, mira, los otros tienes canción. You brought him in. I shouldn't have. I'm sorry. Oye, mira, Mama Huevo, you got Raider versus Malita fucking Jax. El último match. Okay. Nice down. I don't even know how that's an anti air, bro. Uh oh, down two crush and no breakaway. Wait, what's the combo right now? Oh my God goodness. Damn. The double crush, 43%, one bar. Look at this. This might kill. Patient has no breakaway meter. Drops the combo, though. The commentator is cursing full effect. Gets a new oh, duck, shit. but counters him and beats his ass. I think Patience just kind of throwing everything but the kitchen sink right now. He's got to be really careful, and he's got to work more on conditioning. Similar to what we saw from Victor Freeze, that back one string, it all comes down to conditioning. You can't just hope your opponent guesses wrong. Ooh. Oh my god. Big pickup here. Goes for the jump kick into and the slam. 29%. Patient Impulse is living up to his name right now, Caboose. Playing very patient. Honors. Gnarly Gato right now. Gnarly Mama Huevo? Mama Huevo. God damn, another beatdown. Throws him into the corner. What's the mix up gonna be? Nice overhead. And that's the thing, bro. You look at a character like Jax, people would say he's got no mix up. But motherfucker, every time he beats your face in and tosses you into the corner, that's the mix up right there. He either goes for the Any throw, goes for the mid, too slow. Anybody who's saying Jax doesn't have a mix-up is pressing three in the chat, 100%. They're eating turds. Oh, no. Dropped it? He missed the fatal blow. Wait. This is can, so bad. He can still do this, He though. needs to close out this round. The down one of the gods literally stopping him in oh his tracks. Oh, my God. He bet it all. He bet it. It's not over yet. Holy oh. shit, the wake up. You will share. Excuse that me. That should have been it. That should have been it, right? Was there more options for what Gnarly Gato could have well, done there to Caboose, close out the game? Or I, no? I, I want to bring this to your attention. This is only game two. What is happening? I'm so lost. 
Could Gnarly Gacha have closed that out? Would there have been a more guaranteed option than what he ended up going Bro, for there? I don't know what the fuck is going on right now, but Gnarly Gato Alex, uh, he really needs to focus here. <laughs> yeah. Uh-oh. Patient stuck in the corner right now with no defensive meter. Bro, he's throwing like every string Jax has. <laughs> Are you seeing this? What gotta incredible get the fuck out of there. He what an does. awareness of your character's entire arsenal, too. Good stuff there from Narnagato. Oh, that's a crushing wow. blow that you don't see often. Of a punish that you don't see happening often. No. Smart stuff and Bro. good stuff for Patience. Yeah, that makes me eat my words I was talking about earlier. Remember how I said I feel like Gnarly needs to start throwing those ground slams in neutral more, more uh, frequently? Never mind. Because if well, Patient makes a read on that, he's getting a fucking crushing blow off that bitch. That's what I was about to say too. Now you gotta be really careful here if you're Gnarly Gato being careful with that ground slam. Because if you're gonna utilize that as much as possible at the full screen to try and condition your opponent, all it takes is just one little Superman and that's it. Full screen, crushing blow, 20% of your health is gone. Yeah, one German suplex and... <laughs> one German suplex, you seen, exactly. You've seen the, the fucking suplex stars. City. You've seen the stars Rich. after that. Fucking suplex city out here. The hourglass. One German suplex and changes fucking game attack to Gnarly Gato dead. This guy's Brock Lesnar. Huh. You know, funny you say that. Jax, I know I might be sh fucking stretching it here, but Jax kind of has a resemblance to Brock Lesnar. Oh, yeah? <laughs> what part? <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'm reaching for the stars. <laughs> What would you say? What you say is the thing you can compare the two of them the most by? His fingers. <laughs> His ears. He's got the Brock Lesnar fingers. <laughs> He's got the Brock Lesnar ears. <laughs> That's crazy. Oh, is he gonna go for the crushing blow? Yo, oh, he's if, gonna go if, for the gotcha. If, if anybody subs to my channel, let me get some. Oh. Let me get some Brock Lesnar emotes in the chat. <laughs> Let's get the Brock Lesnar in the chat. I can't believe you fucking said that, bro. <laughs> this guy said, this guy said Jax looking like Brock Lesnar. 100% crushing blow in the corner. Right now, patient look impulse. At, look at all the Brock Lesnar's coming through, bro. <laughs> That's the craziest he would have in my life. Holy shit! It looks like he's in pain. <laughs> it's tied to yeah. too, Destroyer. Holy shit. It's fucking tied up. I see the resemblance now. You see it? Oh, fuck. They kind of have like the same hairstyle. Kind of. That's that like... What is that? Is that? Did they call that like the military cut? John Cena's got like that kind of hair too, bro. <laughs> Except Brock Lesnar, I don't know what the hell, what kind of hair he's holding on to on the top, man. He got like nothing left up there. Oh, well, you know, he he wants to live up to his name. Jax. What's his name? Brock Lesnar. Boros okay, but what, what does that have to do with the hair? Everything. Everything. <laughs> So what, when you when you don't got a lot of hair on the top of your head left, but you're keeping it, they call that a Lesnar? They call that the fucking Lesnar. They call that the Lesnar special. Bro, the emote of John Cena right now just made me realize we need a John Berthold going, wait, 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 emote. Wait, 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 wait. Nah, you seen that shit I sent you on Instagram? <laughs> <laughs> Bro, it was like 2 a.m. when I opened up those fucking memes. I was fucking dying, bro. I couldn't take it. This man sent me a barrage of the, the greatest memes he's had in, in his fucking vault. This is the shit that I've been had. Keep it waiting to send you. <laughs> he said now's the perfect opportunity. Yeah. And then you hit him with the longest name duel. <laughs> Go with him with the pipe. Oh, shit. Play it for, play it for him one time. Well, I don't know. I'll play it at the end in case that's like a copyright thing. Oh, I'll play shit, it at the okay, end. Forget it, forget it. I don't know what's up with that. All right, well, <laughs> we should probably get back to the game. It's game five. 
Yeah, right and, now we're and, all tied up. And I'm excited because this has been the closest set we've had yet. And, you know, these players are... Oh, my God! Patient Impulse with a flawless block, launching him in the air. Oh, catches him with the low the and closes it out with the bit. confirm. Yeah, that second, second bit, hit. That 4-1-1 one, one string Fuck. catches his toes. That second hit was fucking juicy. Let me, uh, real quick check. Oh, my God! Bro, true so. underdog, the fucking savage, threw $100 into the pot. Okay, you know Damn. what, true underdog? I'm gonna have to give you a, a, a manicure. You're gonna give this guy a mani pedi. I'm gonna take him to the pediatrics and I'm gonna have them uh, help him out. Oh yeah? Yeah, thank you so much, Runa Dog. I really appreciate that. I mean, fuck. That, that, the players are gonna be eating good, I'll tell you that much. Yeah, you were trying to just get to $100. Now we're what, like 170? 170. Oh, jumping into fatal. Gnarly got those stays alive in this set, Destroyer. is gonna get us to the final round. Which is very fucking good because now he has to, uh... He just has to avoid patient impulses, Fatal Blow con confirm. And he should be smooth sailing here. And honestly, it's hard to say, like... These guys are neck to neck. Every single game they played so far, literally down to the wire matches. I think this is honestly the perfect matchup of players to put up against here. These guys, so these guys are like both training in the same dojo or something. I don't know. Beautiful I mean, grab. Clearly, they're making this feel like a main event, you know? <laughs> Word. And Four throw there from patience. Look, I'm glad I'm not the only one. Oh, never mind. I thought he misspelled it. He spelled Maturino right. Never mind. Beautiful. Here we go. Down two. Down. Yeah, avoiding that breakaway option. Wanted to get as much damage as possible. Oh, he had the punish there. Well, the counter, he could have finished it. Yo. And there's an actual punish. Can we talk with about the, the reactions, bro? That was nuts. This man was ducking that fucking, fucking grab instantly and goes for the crushing blow. That is insane. And that outro is Incredible the funniest. Stuff. You know how usually every outro in this game like explodes with some crazy burst or something or like the this characters- just starts meditating. Yeah, he's like, you think it's gonna happen? He's like, Ugh. <laughs> <sighs> He just starts meditating. He let that shit slide right out, you know? <laughs> oh, fuck. <laughs> he, he thought I was the one dropping the turds. It's actually Raiden. The Raiden's out here making a whole pile. Surprise, bitch. Jax, Raiden. Fucking surprise. Soul well, fuck me, man. Right now, Patient Impulse going up three games to two, and I... I hate to say it, but I think Gnarly Gato is gonna do the same in return. I feel like this guy is gonna somehow take this next one, and again, we're gonna be tied 3-3. Certainly not out of the realm of possibility. Round one, fight. Can we talk about Jax's fucking pants for a second? This gotta be the tightest motherfuckers I ever seen in my life. Yeah, that cannot be comfortable fighting, and especially he has a lot of fucking leg kicks. Like, bro, you know, bro, this, let's this be dude's... honest. Jackson's balls right now are fighting for their lives. What? It's an understatement. In those pants? In those pants is fucking suffocating. You don't think so? Oh, wonder. I know so. Jax just fucking texting me right now. <laughs> Good throw. Here's the mix up. What's it gonna be? He goes for the mids. Beautiful blocks from nice patient block impulse. On the overhead. Well, I feel like the Season best defense nine. against that mix-up that Jax players like to do in that corner is go for the block, react to the throw with a grab tech. I think that's your best right. option. Right. Good throw. Patient impulse right now. Just needs oh my god, this might kill off a chip out. Wait. Is that gonna Wait. side switch? No. Oh! Fatal blow! Oh my god! Fatal Again! Blow. He's dead! Again! That's more than 50%! That's it. That's the round. Oh That's the God. round. Wait, is it? Oh. Yeah, oh, there it is. 49%. I can't believe it. I can't believe it's not butter. Round two. That's fucking insane. I can't believe it's not fucking butter. That's nuts. That was absolutely patient impulses round to win. But that fatal blow off the breakaway. Too slow. Oh, oh good. my god, bro. Is it me or is patient in Oh no, fuck. I never mind what I said. I never mind what I said. 
This is truly a back and forth to the death he right now. He got it. He got it. 52 percent. Send him to Suplex City Destroyer. Holy fuck! And a down two out of nowhere from Patient Impulse. He's got corner position. Yo, these two players are—they're playing this like it's a fucking match for, for Evo or something. Motherfuckers, chill, up? chill. The teleport. Yo, these guys are going nuts right now. This nah, is, they this really nuts. are. They really are. This is nuts. You guys are literally Bro. watching peak MK11. Bro, this is gnarly. Gato. Alex. <laughs> <laughs> what a jump punish from Gnarly Gato Alex, 31%. Yo, he is just swinging, but the neutral duck again coming from Patient Impulse. He's been nice. abusing him with these. 18%. I don't think I've ever seen, and I don't even know how long, two competitors just playing like immaculately. And you want me to give you some context between Gnarly Gato Alex uh, building up to this matchup? When I hit him up, he told me he was a little skeptical about accepting this invitation. Oh my god, that trade was incredible. Damn. Bro, he was a little skeptical of accepting the invitation because he told me he hasn't been grinding MK11 like that. And this Yo, guy, this guy it had don't look like that. Uh, no, but listen, he had about, I think it was like five days maybe that I, noti I notified him. He had about five days to warm up. Maybe about a week. We'll say a week. He had about a week to get back in shape. And yo, it looks like he hasn't left, right? Seriously, yeah, he's out of it, it doesn't look like he's dropped the game for a single second the way that he's playing. Holy shit, bro. And like I said before we went up to that final match there, it looks like we're going to be getting tied up again. They are going blow for blow, toe for toe, like the fucking reveal trailer for Mortal Kombat 11. With the with the the rapper, what was his oh, name? Oh, you're right. What was the name of that rapper? With the John Cena, I think it was. I think he's the one who did the song. Shit, I forgot. John Cena. So he goes, I'm a bird dog because I'm super fly or some shit like that. He says, yeah. I'm a bird dog because I bark and I'm hot. Right. I forgot. I'll just stop. But just was, know, it 21, was it 21 stab? Maybe. But just know he's a bird dog, all right? Beautiful pickup here. Oh my god, goes to the command throw again. What's it gonna be? The pressure. Oh, blocks the overhead. She knocks in the back like, ah, ah. <laughs> yeah. Right? It's funny too, because he's literally getting shocked every second. <laughs> he's getting shocked by the electricity nonstop. Oh shit, hold on, this is cannon. Bro, the electricity is is orange. You put, oh, you're right. You, you put it's two literally two raining, here, huh? fucking him up. <laughs> It was also, why should Ox's head look like it would be bigger than than the characters' like actual heads? <laughs> it's a big fucking like head. He's in the back there, and his head looks that big. You know what I'm saying? That's some good speculation. Um, something's not right. Is he? They they put big head mode on him. Right. They did uh, up, up, down, left, right, left, right, and they gave him big head cheats. Up, up, down, down, left, right, left, right. Oh start. my god, the ground pound right in front of his face. No fucks given. Tries to get the jump in, but the pole is gonna smack him or the nice staff. Slow. Too slow. Gets caught there. Gotcha. Yo, that's. Going somewhere, Jarek. <laughs> that's why in the next game, that's what I want Jax to say every time he grabs somebody. Oh, the neutral jump kick into the fatal blow, and that's going to be the game. Finally, Gnarly Gato is going to be taking the lead. Up yep. until this point, I think he's been tying everything with Patient Impulse. But now, Yo, he's going up. That just got me so fucking hyped. I thought, you know, I was like, oh, Gnarly Gato is one game away from winning. But I was like, oh, shit, never mind, actually. It's a first to ten. This is a first to ten. These dudes about to go the distance. I'm happy it's it's uh, this close because this is actually catching up on on the time that you know we, we kind of scheduled for this because Champs of Rome's right. Arena we'd like it to run at least two hours in time and this match is making all the difference right now holy shit shout out to these two players just fucking beating each other's asses going somewhere <laughs> Jax going somewhere Jarek going Jax. somewhere Sonya I thought you were Dead, like my partner, you just tossed off the cliff. Going somewhere, Katana. 
going somewhere, Mama <laughs> Huevo? <laughs> Oh shit! What's the name of the guy from uh, from Call of Duty? The one that goes, "Fuck it." <laughs> What's his name? I don't know. Fuck. He's a he's a classic. I forgot his name. I can't believe it. Uh, Stevie. Is it Frank? Oh, it might be Frank. Yeah, it is. It is Frank from from Frank Black Ops, right? Going somewhere, Frank. Fuck it. I'm I'll put that in the soundboard. <laughs> I'm just gonna get I'm gonna get Jack saying going somewhere. <laughs> Yo, with patient impulse, I had no idea he had a katana up his sleeve. Oh, oh my and god. he's got crushing blows. Just got rid of his fucking Brock Lesnar haircut. <laughs> the Lesnar as they call it at the barber shop. Yeah, yeah uh, let me get the, the Lesnar. They're like, say no more. I'm gonna cut off 95% of your hair for you. They cut that? off half his head. <laughs> <laughs> you got brain at that point. You saying, you saying you go to the barber shop and they give you a fatality? Yeah. You go to the barber shop and they what you want. <laughs> look at the, you say, look you ever seen the, the Mortal Kombat look fatality? The look at the emote that they didn't put. Wait, what the fuck? What do you put? <laughs> Who's that? <laughs> I don't know. I don't fucking know. Oh my god, I can't, bro. I fucking well, right can't. Right now, Destroyer, Gnarly Gato's trying to come back after what's gone down here from Patient Impulse with this character switch. Katana. Katana Rama smacks him out of the air. Jesus Christ. Oh gosh. No. These jack strings? And the whole sweep the leg. These jack strings are violent. They Fight. they need to add the uh, the baby arms jacks as a cosmetic ASAP. Oh, nice rose block. Whoa. There's another option to deal with that jack shit. Good stuff. The little air dash that he has available with that was Katana. nasty. Little shades of uh, Kabbalah. God damn it! Is this damage over time? No, it's just raw damage. Thirty-eight percent. Looks for the whip punish, but Jax going under the fan with the low kick. Oh, oh my god, goal. this, this does combo. This does combo here. There's gonna be a lot of damage. Unfortunately, what? Gnarly Gato oh. has no breakaway, but he does have fatal blow. Version? He does have fatal blow, Caboose. And there it is. And there it is. You just called it. So there's gonna be a fatal blow now from Gnarly Gato. This is gonna make up for quite the life lead the patient impulse had. Yeah. But it's not gonna close out the game, and it's not really gonna put him in a position. He's close enough, but now he will after he lands a couple projectiles. Oh my god, bro, this is way too down to the wire. No, they got to right now. He needs one touch, and, and so does Patient up. as well. The grab. Wow. The grab destroyer. This is a back and forth. It's going one game Gnarly Gato, one game Patient Impulse, and it's been that way for the last eight games. Yeah, dude, how is this even possible? What the fuck? Yo, I know we haven't for seen a fact. Even these competitors win two in a row. Dude, this was the last thing everyone expected tonight. Nobody knew these players were going to play this fucking hard. Not only the, does wheel. Katana have the boniest ass in Mortal Kombat history, but holy fuck is this set hype. Yeah, this is, uh, this is absolutely nuts. You like Katana. garlic nuts? Jax. Hey, you never tried them? Oh, fucking bro. My local pizzeria... I might have to hit that bitch up. Oh, I got the Coliseum. I, got, I don't even think I'm going to be able to do anything tonight. Fuck me. So you can't even do nothing? Nah. What, I, what I'll probably end up doing is I'm probably going to go to the, the, the spandex store. And I'm going to get myself a pair of the Jax pants. Right. Yo, what do you think he does if his leg gets itchy? Fight. He pisses himself. Oh, to like relieve the itch. Yeah. Yeah, uh, yeah, that's smart. Good grab. That string right there as well, another thing everyone needs to realize is he's got quite a few options off that bitch. Because I'm pretty sure there's like a couple stagger points that, or maybe he can, he can uh, stagger the whole string if I'm not mistaken. And special cancel anywhere in between that. Right. Very good confirm. Goes for the overhead. 
Trying to get some deluxe Jack pressure going, again. dragging him into the corner. Big boy damage. Bing, 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 bing. Bad, yeah. I think he's living up to the uh, to the variation. Bing, there. bing nation. Yo, oh, wait a second here. Patient impulse the had the fatal. Oh, never mind. Oh, the Batista bomb. Fuck it, Batista bomb. You saw that shit? All right, you didn't see it. I saw it. Who's your favorite wrestler? Of all time? Just who's your favorite wrestler? I mean, I think it's generic for me. I'm, I'm fucking stone cold, ride or die. Oh, yeah? You yeah. know who's mine? Who is it? The ultimate warrior! Alberto. Oh. I thought it was Alberto Del Rio. Nah, it's Lesnar. Alberto! Nah, you know who's my favorite wrestler? Rakishi. Oh, yeah? You like that guy? Yeah. You like the stink face? Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. This might kill. That's going to be a crushing... It, it fucking killed. It wow, fucking that's unbelievable. killed. Bro, unbelievable. Again, I was the back and forth. And it killed. Station Impulse takes the last game. Gnarly Gato taking this one. He's up 5-4. This is uh, de definitely potential right now that this set goes to like what is it a game 11 would it be no <laughs> game i don't know what the fuck is it 20 yeah not definitely not 11 it'll be like game 20 game 19, one or something 19. it's gonna be uh they're gonna get down to a game lesnar whoever goes down to uh nine nine rock no rakishi's gonna break their door down Jones. and hit him with a sink face <laughs> So you saying whoever loses this gets a stink face from Rikishi? Yeah. Oh shit. That stakes are high. That's fucked, huh? The that's fucked. Fucking high. You don't want to lose, and you don't want to get hit with a fucking Rikishi stink face. Yo, patient impulse. I did not know he had these characters in his arsenal. I swear to God, I thought he was only raid and ride or die. But he pulled out a katana, and now he's pulling out a Fujin. Since when? You know what the Fujinistics? Since when? I don't know. I don't know if he really needed to change this many different characters. I think whatever he was doing from the start was working still. He could have he could have stuck with the Raiden, you know? Well, maybe I'm going to try to get into uh, Patient Impulse's head for a second here. The only thing I can think of is maybe he doesn't want Gnarly Gato to get too comfortable with the certain character he has. Maybe once he starts taking L's, you know, he feels like, okay, let me try yeah. this one. Try to mix it up a bit and just let him know that I have options up my sleeve. Man, Yo, can I also mention that I don't see enough people using the anime skin for Fujin, man. This skin is so underused. Every time I see people playing Fujin, they're always rocking the braids and shit. And like, don't get me wrong, he looks sick. But this anime skin with the light up hat. Oh, nicely done there. The flawless block, not gonna get the full conversion though, unfortunately. And that grab is gonna work. But yeah, I love this skin so much that this is like the mascot for my emotes. If anybody's, if anybody's got my emotes. Wait, is the score right? It's 5-4, yeah, right? Yeah, I think 5-4. Okay, yeah, okay. I think you're right. Jesus Christ, right off the bat, gonna hit this motherfucker with the suplex of the gods. Let's see, man. I feel like if Patriot Impulse doesn't do uh, well with this character, he might have to switch back to the other one. I, I forgot. Mean, don't, don't you have a whole bunch of emo lineup dedicated to... Uh, this one. The skin. Yeah, look at that. Can throw them all in the chat real quick. Let's see them all. You want to see every single one of them? I do. I do. I want right. to see them all. All right, so fuck you. By the way, chat, if you guys uh, don't know, Caboose live streams on Twitch once a month. So be sure to go check out his <laughs> channel and make sure you guys drop a follow and drop a sub to him as well. Beautiful now, too. <laughs> Said it once a month. Motherfucker, you do. It's been a minute. It's been a minute. Very nice. Oh my god, is that gonna kill? I don't know. This is gonna hurt. That much is for sure. I like the, the dab one, it's awesome. Okay, you just gotta keep patient impulse now at bay. Uh oh. You like that emote I just put, Caboose? I couldn't see it. Hold on. Well, how about the this one? <laughs> What's that? Oh, this guy's got a you don't. This guy's got the fucking you don't. Nah, I got your favorite one. You ready? Nah. 
I don't want to see it. Get that shit out of my fucking face. Oh, man, I'm gonna kill. Sorry. Jesus Christ, ground pounds all over the place. Patient impulse is gonna close some distance here. <laughs> Jonathan Rambunsky? <laughs> He's like, yeah, I gotta help you. Oh, look at the armor breaker there from Patient Impulse Destroyer. Very nice. And the crush. He's trying to take this home. Uh oh, uh oh. This is gonna hurt. He's gonna go for the fatal blow. He wanted that breakaway again, Destroyer. He was baiting it out. This time, Patient Impulse was living up to his name. Very patient. Well, bro, this is where Jax becomes such a threat because after that fatal blow, his arms are max heated up. That's and it's right. like literally one touch, and it's like you got hit with another fatal blow. You know what I'm saying? Yep, yep. Now, did he already get the crushing blow with the projectile, or did that not happen? I don't know, man. I kind of forgot. But we're going to see what happens here. He's just getting zoned out right now by Fujin. Yeah, good wind push. That move looks fucking annoying as shit. Imagine that actually did damage. It, it can off the meter burn. Oh, for the amplification oh, and oh, and there it is. Kill. I think you wanted the brutal there. The brutal. All right, I'm getting off. What? What happened? You had a Charlie horse? Guys, what happened to Caboose? His voice cracked and then he just fucking left. Can somebody check up on Caboose? Oh my god, he just sent me a picture of his room. There's shit everywhere. Jax. Fujin. I think that voice crack led to something very bad, chat. I'm calling the, the ambulance for I just him. had to deal with something really quick. I, did, I didn't, uh... I just had to deal with something really quick. <laughs> I gotta clean- I gotta clean my room later. <laughs> Wait, what happened? What'd you tell them? <laughs> Wait, what the fuck did you tell them? I'm, so, I'm sorry. What did you say? I told them that this match against Patient Impulse and Gnarly Gato oh, Alex good. has us both shitting on the floor. <laughs> Dude, I'm literally, I, I'm still like in shock that this is going back and forth. Like, look, I'm happy this is going down, but a match like this in Mortal Kombat 11 takes ages. I mean, honestly, this is, You're right. <laughs> this is almost an hour plus for to 10, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Holy shit. These guys are running the fucking nice marathon right now. Any one of these guys who takes a, a two win lead has the cushion of a lifetime. Yeah, yo, because of the way that Jax? it's been so back and forth. Did you just see Jax fucking win? I win know, taunt? this guy turned into the Flash. <laughs> yeah! What the fuck? He's gonna, he's gonna come out with a fucking Flash premiere skin. A Mama Huevo. Yo! They need to do a Top Siete premiere skin for uh, Jax. Yes! Make it happen, Netherrealm. And every time he gets to you with the gotcha grab and starts punching, he goes, Toma, 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 Toma. <laughs> yes! <laughs> I don't want that. Nicely done. He hits you with the crushing blow, he goes, Mama Huevo, Mama Huevo. Oh, the restand. I'm surprised he keeps going for the mid in the corner because, uh. Bonk. <laughs> literally bonk. Uh, fucking patient impulse is very good at flawless blocking that shit. Good short nice. hop. Does he make this comeback? Does he, he make this comeback? Not impossible. Misses that forward three. And oh, out. no, the piece of alive. meter now. He's still alive. The magic pixel. Oh, oh, no. Literally jumps in. Then it would have been a wrap. He could have gotten a big combo off of that. If we saw that comeback, yes. magic pixel, no defensive meter. No, he's got the Joker smile. That gone down. He's got the Joker smile. Oh, yeah? You don't see that fucking scar in his face? He's got the, the Brock Lesnar smile. <laughs> He's got the, I just lit a fat blunt and I'm smoking this shit after the victory smile. That's crazy. What? Actually, you know what's weird? For me, he didn't have that uh, the, the blood on there. Oh, That's weird. That's It's different Jerks. for people. Wow. Oh, well, that's unfortunate because you just missed out on the greatest thing possible. Shut up. Eh, yeah, fuck you! Sorry. 
Yeah, I think this is going to a 10-9 for sure. I, I wouldn't see it any other way. Um, like Kabu said, though, if one of them can get that two-game lead cushion, maybe then they'll break the chain. But for the most part, if they keep on going back and forth, bro, there's no telling how this is going to play out. Honestly, I really don't know how this is going to go. If they, if they if it just keeps end up, like you're saying, where a patient takes a game, then now the gotcha takes a game. Then what it comes down to is, well, who did it start with? You know, who was in the lead from the jump? For real. Oh, nice down wow. to crush. One thing I got to give to Patient oh. Impulse is Nuku Duck punishes are so on point. Yeah. He throws them out almost every single time. Again, I am really surprised. You said, you said it was Patient Impulse who was hesitant? What do you mean? When you reached out? When no, you it, was, reached it was Gnarly Gato that was hesitant. Right. The well, last, either or. The last tweet I saw Patient Impulse put... He said, ever since I've been playing Fujin, he said my, my Raiden feels better than ever. So, complete opposite oh, stories for these players. But yeah, regardless of who, who it was, like, I mean, if it's Fernando Gato, like, I, as you mentioned, like, I'm really surprised this dude was even hesitant in the first place to want to play because he's doing an, an incredible absolute job. machine. An absolute machine. And there's the fatal blow, gonna take this round, secures it. Beautiful stuff. This is the uh, gnarly Gato on the verge, making what you said happen here. Round two, fight. Good tech on the grab attempt there. Switching sides now. Patient Impulse gonna try and push gnarly Gato into the corner. Watch out for those wind pushes. The meter burn lands. Looking for the cross up off that jump in. Gets down to it out of the air, and he could have gotten the follow up. The timing on very tricky though. I don't think that's what, what Patient Impulse wanted. That's anti air. Oh, he was looking for another one. Okay, a little low poke. Into the wing kicks. Mama Huevo. Nicely done there, Patient Impulse. Pushing Nali Gato all the way to the other side of the screen. Has a healthy life lead. And Nali Gato does not have any fatal, fatal blow to work with. Oh, we could have converted that, and that eventually would have been the end of the game. And there's the crushing blow. Or not the end of the game, sorry, the end of the round. But the crushing blow will do it. Patient Impulse tying up these rounds. All right, Cam is black. For the Coxman, bro, I'm getting rid of your mod. What the fuck is that, bro? What the fuck the is fuck? that? Is this guy like, does he want a cock in his mouth or something? Like, somebody help him out? That, yeah, dude, what the fuck kind of shit is that? Oh, so random. <laughs> nice down two there. Patient Impulse gets the air to air. Gotta watch out for that breakaway. He's not converting off the little tornado. Uh oh, uh oh. Batista bump, suplex, and that's the game. Well, here we go. Finally, what we were talking about earlier, man. Gnarly yeah. Gato's finally gonna get that two-game lead cushion that uh, is kind of fucking monumental in a set like this. The fact that they've been going back and forth all the way up until now. Shit, I think Jax's nipples might be getting a little hard here. Yeah, me too. I, I mean, uh, no, yeah, that's crazy. That's uh, that's dope. That is uh, his nipples. Napoleon Dynamite, huh? Huh? What'd nip, you say? Nip, Napoleon Dynamite. Ah, uh, I see, I see. Jerks. All right. Finally gonna go back to the Raiden. I feel like he was just experimenting, seeing what his options were, trying to figure out what works best in this matchup. But at the end of the day, it looks like Patient Impulse is gonna be straying back to his uh, his baby daddy here. Raiden is his baby daddy, yes. I don't think so. What was that, Raiden? I don't think so. What about the other gods? I think so. This is going to be really tough now for Patient Impulse because just as you said, like, one of these players, considering the back and forth, if one of them goes up two games, that's huge. That is a cushion like we have not seen throughout this entire set. 
considering the fact that we've never seen either of these competitors hold a two-game lead up until now, that puts Gnarly Gato in a very advantageous position. So Patient Impulse is going to have to play out of his mind, and so far to start off this game is doing exactly that with a very convincing round. That was disgusting, bro. That entire sequence from Patient Impulse, absolute insanity. Yes, sir. See if he can keep it up. No. I don't want to watch anymore. All right, you know what? I'll talk to you tomorrow. Okay. Oh, short hops to get over that uh, ground pound. That's the full combo, 31% at one bar. Too slow! Oh, God. Okay. What happened to Cabal? You good? I don't know, man. It sounds like something bad's happening to him. Sounds like he's cabaling. Yeah, that that wasn't me. What the fuck? That was Cabal. You're tripping. Too slow. Oh, big boy punish. Incoming. Hits him with the overhead. The breaker from Patient oh, Impulse. Duplex City. Oh, he doesn't get the full full thing. If you look at uh at Patient Impulse variation name real quick, just give it a quick glance. It looks yeah. like it's Poppy Chulo. <laughs> you should like look at it real quick and look away. If you're just not paying attention, if you're looking at it super quick. Yeah. Yeah. Poppy Chulo. Yeah. 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 <laughs> you, yeah. All right, relax. Sorry. Before sorry. I give you the full body tattoo. Sorry, sorry. sorry. <laughs> you take that picture. <laughs> <laughs> well shit i mean patient impulse able to get one game on the board here Jax. if we can do this again we're gonna be tied bro for the thousandth time this set feels like a fucking trip if if patient impulse is able to tie this up then i really i couldn't tell you how this is gonna end I couldn't tell you either, man. What could you tell me? I couldn't tell you how this set's gonna end. Oh. Okay. Sea of blood. All right, sick. Do you think after Patient Impulse tried a various amount of different characters, trying Fujin, trying the uh, the Katana, you think he's finally gonna stay put with Raiden? I do think so, actually. I do. It, it'll actually what, it, what it'll come down to really is if he wins this game. If he's able to win this game, then I think so. The katana pick was not bad. The, the Fujin pick, while solid, there's a couple drops in there. Like I don't think he's as refined with Fujin as he is with characters like Raiden or even Katana. So maybe I could see Patient Impulse going to Katana if things aren't working out here. But I would, if it was up to me, if I was making the calls, if I was sitting in his corner, I'd say stick with the Raiden. Yeah. Oh my god, the overhead's gonna connect. He thought the stagger was coming, but no siree. Wow, the jump in could have caught a confirm, but didn't quite believe in it. Damn, dude, there's just blows are trading right now for no fucking reason. <laughs> Don't depress me. Oh! You don't. <laughs> Bro, this might be a deathly setup here. Yes, it will be. Gets him with the side switch uh -oh. as well. Gnarly Gato, one round away from going up eight games to six. Can he make this happen? Gnarly Toto Alex. This is scary for Patient Impulse because if Gnarly Gato gets this and he's able to continue to maintain that two game lead. And oh, wow, oh. did you see that immediate teleport that was, to get out of there? He teleports again. This guy was nasty with it. Neo dodging right there. Yeah, this motherfucker is Neo from the Matrix. Yeah, that's me, actually. Well, that's you. Nice flawless block. Interrupting Gnarly Gato's turn to press the buttons. Oh my goodness, doing it again. Bro, he is getting savage right now. Holy fuck. I mean, he's been doing this shit the entire Overhead. set, but just tech. oh my! And the grab tech, dude. That that entire sequence where patient impulse was just masterful. Uh, 
And that's what you need, right? You gotta <laughs> play impeccable. That's the exact reaction. He's like, uh, uh, you don't. Uh, the Elder God. Mm, it's me, Raiden. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, that was a tricky setup there for Patient Impulse. Okay. The Toma special. What's, the, uh, the what's Toma Jack's um, armor breaker? Shit, you got me. Do you? Um, is there something you gotta worry about not breaking away there when he's got you? Maybe it's a oh, variation specific oh. move. That was beautiful. There it is again, Destroyer. We saw it again. Oh. Bro, one confirm into Fatal Blow is gonna go! That was it! He got the hit. He just wasn't expecting to do the overhead. Oh, he had the whiff punish. He had the whiff punish, but he missed it. Oh my god. Gnarly Gato, Gato going up eight games to six. Like you mentioned previously, Caboose, that two-game lead cushion was all the fucking difference, bro. It is. It is because it still feels like it is that same back and forth that we've seen up until now. But having that two-game cushion that puts him in such a good spot right now. Oh man. I think we, do we see a quick rematch here, Destroyer? Or do you think he's gonna make the switch to someone like Katana or go back to the Fujinistics? Well, given the, the, the circumstances of that match we just saw, it was just a whip punish away from taking it. Yeah, I think, I yeah. think the characters he's had the most success with for sure is without a doubt the Raiden. Katana comes to a close second, Jinx. but I, there's no telling what this guy's got in his mind right now, man. These players, you know, a set this long, especially going back and forth like this, it starts to wear it starts to wear you down. I mean, hell, I'm getting fucking wear down from this goddamn set. So I can only imagine what these guys are thinking. Whoa, is he think no, is he thinking about it, Caboose? Ain't no way. Is he thinking about it, bro? Are, are you sure? No, okay. I was going to say, sometimes Sub-Zero, that's where you're hovering on if you're player two. So is he actually thinking He's about Sub-Zero? He's thinking about it, bro. He's thinking about it, bro. What? Oh, shit. You know, what, you know what they say about this character, right? Shit. The brain goes off yeah, when the, really the Sub-Zero pulls up. Uh, I'll say this much. I'll say this much. You obviously got to give a huge shout out to Patient Impulse and the way that he's been playing. But Gnarly Gato, you got to give such props to. He has faced off now against Patient Impulse, Raiden, <laughs> the Katana, Fujin, and then now Sub Zero. If, if Gnarly Gato is able to still come out on top after, yeah, after running the gambit against Patient Impulse here and still sticking with his tried and true jacks, that'll be huge. Slow. Watch that slide. Big punish now. Into the restand. Bonk. Suplex City. Now, did he miss the conversion or did he want him back in the corner? I don't know, but just off of first impressions on this Sub Zero, it looks like he has no options in that corner. This is uh, this is looking scary right now. Gnarly Gato is very much in his element. Nice catch. The projectiles shuts down. The air axe jump in connects. Holy fuck, bro. This is Break the Bohemian beatdown. Wow. Oh no. He had to confirm to get the crushing blow. Oh, the creeping ice amplification was out of the uh out of the range. Oh no. He's dead. This hurts. He's dead, bro. This, this is yeah, I think that's the game. Holy fuck. And that is the game. My goodness. Darley Gato now. Doesn't just have a two-game cushion, but a three-game cushion against Patient Impulse. What was originally a hell of a back and forth between two insane competitors has turned into a healthy lead for Gnarly Gato Alex. Bro, we, we called it right off the bat. Like, whoever was going to get that two-game lead was just going to kind of run away with it. And that's exactly what's, what's happening too, now. What's tough, too, is when you're when you're in that that mode where it's like back and forth, you know, if you're, if you're patient impulse, if you're if you're gnarly gato and it's that back and forth, you're kind of going in expecting, OK, we're going to duke it out here. This is going to be a bit of a slugfest. But then when gnarly gato takes that two game lead, it's a bit of a morale killer. So you got to wonder when we're talking about the mental game is that's what affected patient impulse here. He, he loses. He goes down two games. Does it affect how he starts to play going forward? You gotta wonder. Round 
Well, Fuck. I respect it. Back to the Raiden. Back to his fucking guns. If That's he's right. going out, he's going out with style. You know what I'm saying? 100%. Uh, Slickshot says to look at the prediction odds. Where were they? Oh, oh shit. 9% for Gnarly Godzone. <laughs> Are you serious? Somebody's gonna, a bunch of people are getting a big payout if he wins this first of five. Whoa. Well, that's crazy because I feel like a name like Gnarly Gato Alex, not too many people know about this player. Right. And he, he's like one of the staples of Texas. This guy's a fucking demon in the, in the mash house scene. And not even there, man. I, I've known about Gnarly Gato since Mortal Kombat X. And this kid's always been killing it. So anybody who fell asleep on him is oh really... My God. Is he dead? Patient, patient impulse. He's, this is the third time this has happened bro, to him. Is he When's dead? this man gonna learn not to break away? When's he gonna learn? That's literally the setup. Gnarly Gato has gone for that three times now, where it's a guaranteed fatal blow, regardless of whether or not they break away. It's just that that extra hit into fatal baits out the breakaway. And for the third time now, patient impulse has been caught by it. And that one, Gnarly got to the round, puts him on match point here. Wow, completely shutting down that knee that he wanted to throw at him. Nari Gato, got, he has all the chips in his favor here. And what's scary about it too, Caboose, is the fact that these players have been going back and forth up until this point. If Patient Impulse managed to make the Miracle comeback and take this round, think about it. Will he be able to do that uh, another I four know. fucking games? I, I need someone in chat to help me out here. What's the timing there on Jack's little suplex city? Is it like so tight? Not why it's like, and that's why it's like really hard to land. It's total tight. He's got fatal blow. He's okay. He doesn't go for it. Oh. He goes for another throw. He needs to be very fucking patient here. Finish oh, he it. got the first oh one. My oh my god. god. My heart is racing right now, bro. Oh my god. Holy shit. It's super tight. All right. All right. One or two frames. Pretty sure. Damn. The knockdown is gonna connect. The nice. down one anti air. What kind of anti air is that though? I don't know. Oh, he's mixing, bro. Yeah, he's that's mixing. What you do. When you land that overhead back two, that's the mind game that you get to start playing. He wanted it again, but this time gonna get blocked and punished for it. This is when Jax just gets very fucking heavy duty in the pressure. Beautiful 42% nice mid screen. This is scary now. If you're if you're patient impulse, forward throw gonna connect. He has fatal blow destroyer. He does. Oh, he gets caught by the jump in. Oh my god, that could have been it. He could have gotten a punish off of that destroyer. He, and there it is. That was such a, City. such a scary moment right there. Are we gonna get a fatality? Oh, we are. He's gonna send this motherfucker this for so a ride. Sick. This one's so sick. Is it better up? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> there ain't no way that just happened, bro. <laughs> still gonna go you know that right oh there it is <laughs> built up the anticipation for it bro <laughs> he built up the anticipation holy oh, fucking shit. cow yo ggs though bro ggs man that was a hell of a first to ten i honestly really wanted to see it go to that final game but nevertheless patient impulse with raiden with Raiden, put on a hell of a show, switching over to Katana, did really well with her, switching over to Fujin, even though a couple drop combos here and there still did really well. The Sub-Zero probably didn't work out too well, but I mean, nevertheless, bro, we, we, we had, nevertheless. We had two incredible Raiden players that really brought the yeah. heat today. And yeah. I mean, like I said in the very beginning of this uh, Champions of Realms arena was that, you know, we had a very diverse lineup of players and just the talent was all over the place, which is fucking beautiful. And just witnessing the way these matches went down, I want to say GG's to every single player that came here tonight. Huge shout outs to Baylina. Huge shout outs to Victor Freeze. Huge shout outs to, uh, I forgot the rest of their names. But who, was, who, who impulse, was it? Who was Gnarly it? Got to Alex. Uh, oh, Jet Ring know? and then Little Dick. Jet Ring, Huge Little shout outs Dick. to all these players, man absolutely bring in the hype tonight i truly appreciate every single one of you thank you so much for tuning in and accepting the inv invitation to champs Rose arena uh i'm not gonna lie uh me and caboose 
we do have quite a busy schedule. I myself am going to be getting myself into some fucking crazy shit pretty soon. So I know a lot of people are asking for Champions of the Realms open bracket. And honestly, the way things are looking with our schedules right now, it might not be possible. But what I do want to do is I want to set up another invitational tournament with Caboose. Something. Yeah, I want to try to get at least like a top 16 for MK11, you know, get some hype rolling. And right now, the way I see it, man, I've been keeping tabs. I've been keeping tabs on a lot of these fucking open bracket tournaments. And the players are not showing up, man. I hate to say it, but, mm -hmm. you know, these open bracket tournaments aren't getting the, the, the sheer... How do you say it? The the weight that the other tournaments were getting when the game was more lively. And right. I, I just feel like open bracket really wouldn't be the smart thing to do at this point. We'll probably end up getting a lot of fucking shit eaters signing up for that tournament anyways. And I mean, right listen, we're, we're three years past the release of MK11. We've done so much for Champions of the Realms. I mean, even, even with MKX, an even older game than MK11, we've done so much for it. So, like obviously me and destroyer we're going to talk we're going to do our thing behind the scenes and see what we can do whether it's an inventory invitational or an open bracket regardless i think we can both say i think we can say on the air that we want to do something for for Yo, MK pick that up, pick that up. The realm. i gotta pick up the phone but do you actually no nah, no nah, you're good you're good <laughs> <laughs> oh shit <laughs> you know, go ahead go you ahead you know who's calling you yeah, who is patient it? Patient Impulse. It's Patient? Why yeah. is he calling me? What he's does he a, want? He's a, you motherfucker! <laughs> you motherfucker, you rigged the tournament! You rigged it! But yeah, so as I was saying, oh shit, they're, they're, the people, they, they really got to talk. Pick they're up really the really fucking talk. phone! <laughs> <laughs> no, Anyways. But, but yeah, yeah, let's we, we want to do because... something for, for Champions of the Realms. For, for MK11, I think. It yeah, is. I, I'm thinking we can do probably uh, another invitational, a little top 16 action. And with this tournament, this top 16, I'm going to reach out to the players we don't usually get to see. You know how usually these invitational tournaments, we got the main killers in it, fucking Tweety, all these yeah, uh, yeah, Rewind, yeah. and all those players. I'm going to reach out to a more diverse group. And because I know, like, there's a player, Reckless Scar. I've been hearing a lot of rumors that this kid's always wanted to uh, compete in Champions of the Realms, never had the chance to, because he wasn't really active during the open bracket stuff. Yeah. So, you know, we'll get players like him in the Invitational. We'll get shit, probably get uh, some awesome female representation up in that bitch and just well, yeah, a, we a nice get some wide variety. That aren't like the regular faces. We want to make sure that we bring in some wild cards, some people who play characters that you don't see much of. I'm just... I, you know what? It's Kotokan. It's Hello? Kotokan. He really wants to Hello? talk today. He really wants to talk today. Hello? Hello? <laughs> Hello? <laughs> yeah, we want to get some of the Hello? unfamiliar faces. You know, we want to... We, we, we already ran the gambit for Champions of the Realms. We already did the thing for Champions of the Realms. We bring in the heavy hitters, the people that you always expect to see every time we run one of these tournaments. But I think if we do this again, we want to bring some, some unpredictable, unfamiliar faces really give them the spotlight give them an Somebody opportunity says top siete. yo he really he's trying to call he wants to talk about his mama huevos you're gonna pick up the phone he's gonna go Wait, mama huevo. <laughs> <laughs> yo let's get the fuck out of here again thank you so all much right. everybody for tuning in uh real quick let me give a shout out to all the people who contributed to the to the match arena uh we got hundred dollars from t true underdog absolute animal uh let me see what it's looking at. So we ended up with $175, which is incredible. $175. Mm -hmm. We got $5 That's from King Shada. 100 big smackaroonies from True Underdog. We got $20 from Beak Dosen. And we got $50 from yours truly, the Tototeta General. Caboose. Oh. Caboose. But yeah, man. <laughs> again, thank you so much, everybody, for tuning in. I really fucking appreciate you all. Thank you so much again to all the players that came out and brought the hype. We'll be back. We'll be back. I'm not too sure. We'll definitely be doing more Champions of the Realms Arena here and there. But the next big event will probably be another Invitational. And again, you guys cannot blame us. You know, Open Bracket right now is very, very weird. And I blame you. Thank you. But Caboose, <laughs> thank you so much for joining today, bro. I really yeah, fucking man. appreciate you. The commentary with you is always fucking laughs and close us out. Close us out. Yeah, man. I, I love doing this. I mean, Champions of the Realms is always so much fun, but doing the arena, getting to commentate first to fives, first to tens, seeing these competitors that go in the distance, that's a ton of fun to me. So if you 
you need, hey, you know I'm always here if you need somebody to hop on the mic. But uh, it was a blast. I had a ton of fun. Hopefully, we'll see you guys again soon for an invitation, open bracket, whatever it might be. We'll see you guys for some more changes of the realm soon. Whenever fucking Multiverses comes out, you already know me and Destroyer are all over that. And then who who knows when Netherrealm's next game is, but whether it's MK12 and Justice 3, some Marvel shit, I don't know. But whenever Netherrealm's next game comes out, you guys think we went hard for MK11 Champions of the Realm? You have no idea what we're going to do for that next Netherrealm game, all right? So much Champions of the Realms is coming your guys' way. So thank you all for the support, whether it's my channel, whether it's Destroyer's channel. It's been a blast. We'll see you next time, though. Stay safe out there, everybody. Have a good one.